Chapter 2521 The Fiend King's Revival The Dragon Blood Legion's Fury Sword. Dongfang Yuyang's despicable shamelessness drove them crazy. A generation's heavenly genius had actually sunk to this level. As long as Long Chen gave the order, the Dragon Blood warriors would immediately charge over and fight Dongfang Yuyang to the death. You ants are not qualified to wave your claws at me. Or do you want to try it? Dongfang Yuyang raised Yi Lingxian in front of him, using her as a shield. Blood dripped off of Yi Lingxian. She clenched her teeth, refusing to make a sound. It was unknown just how much pain Yi Lingxian was currently enduring. Dongfang Yuyang was intentionally tormenting her to provoke everyone. Despite her covering up that pain, the more she acted like that, the more infuriated people were. So, Long Chen, are you going to stop or not? Do you really need me to do some more? Do you want me to tear off her clothes and let every man here enjoy the beauty of the future leader of the Martial Heaven Alliance? If that's what you want, I'll do it. Dongfang Yuyang ignored everyone's furious gazes, smiling sinisterly at Long Chen. Tear off her clothes for us to enjoy. This woman, Jia Rishan laughed, as if humiliating Yi Lingxian could make him feel better and win him back some face. Shut up. Feng Fei immediately shouted, cutting him off. Dong Fang Yuyang's actions even made her feel disgraceful. However, she was currently on the same side as Dong Fang Yuyang. Although she detested his actions, she could only silently accept them. On the other hand, Jia Rishan was actually loudly encouraging him. Once they left the Starfield Divine World, it would give a terrible name to the Divine Families. Someone else was already taking on the burden of the villain but he just had to open his mouth and share some of that burden. Feng Fei had an urge to slap him. Big Brother Long Chen, what should I do? Dong Mingyu's voice rang out in Long Chen's ear. Dong Mingyu was hidden in the air. No one could see her. She was like a ghost guarding Long Chen. Dong Fang Yuyang had truly infuriated her. She wanted to kill him, but she had no guarantee of being able to assassinate him in one blow. She also had no idea what Dongfang Yuyang had done to Yi Lingxian. Perhaps he would kill Yi Lingxian as soon as Dong Mingyu appeared. That was why Dong Mingyu had yet to strike. Mo Nian's veins were throbbing, and the heaven-seizing sun hunting Ba was quivering. He wished to charge over. He regretted not killing him back then. Release her, said Long Chen finally. Both friend and foe jumped in fright upon hearing his voice. That voice was hoarse and terrifyingly cold. It was as if he was a completely different person. It was like the voice of a devil from hell. Men Chi and the others turned to stare at Long Chen. They were shocked to find that at some point, his eyes had turned black. Pull back your spiritual strength and I'll release her. I, Dongfang Yuyang, always keep my word, said Dongfang Yuyang with a pleased smile. Everyone's gazes concentrated on Long Chen, awaiting his decision. Long Chen, you can't. Yi Lingxian suddenly shouted upon seeing Long Chen slowly release his hand seal. Dongfang Yuyang immediately snorted, causing Yi Lingxian to cough up a mouthful of blood and no longer be able to make a noise. She stared at Long Chen with disappointment. In her eyes, this decision of Long Chen's was the height of foolishness. She would rather die and use her death to give the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples a fanatical drive to get stronger to wipe away this humiliation. She could see that Long Chen was about to win. He was abandoning all that because of her. She was shocked, infuriated, as well as moved. She hated herself for being useless. How was she supposed to let the Martial Heaven Alliance in the future when she had fallen into someone else's hands and became a trump card to be used against Long Chen? She would never be able to live with this humiliation. She was unable to change anything. So she had accepted her death. But Long Chen really had chosen to submit for her. The calm indifference she had kept up vanished. And she was unable to bring it back up. She couldn't hold back her tears. The flame lotus on the altar slowly dissipated. All the flames on it vanished. Without the karmic hell flames burning, the altar rumbled. The heaven-devouring fiend king's corpse began to quiver. Now, can you release her? Said Long Chen coldly. Release her? Of course. But not right now. Dongfang Yuyang smiled. He was eating his own words. Dongfang Yuyang, can you have some fucking sense of shame? In front of every single person here, you're breaking your word. 
both the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts and the neutral experts began to curse. When did I break my word? I said that I would release her, but I didn't say when or where. Once we leave the Starfield Divine World, I will send the beautiful Yi Lingxian to the Martial Heaven Alliance safe and sound, said Dong Fang Yuyang. Clearly, Dong Fang Yuyang didn't want to give up this precious trump card so quickly. Long Chen had even given up the victory that was right before his eyes for Yi Lingxian. That meant that Dong Fang Yuyang had endless uses for her. Suddenly, a white figure appeared and a sword slashed through the air. Dong Fang Yuyang was startled. He was about to pull back when sharp pain came from his arm. His arm was severed without him even being aware of it. The sword hadn't even touched his arm yet. Everyone stared. Yun Tian had used some method to appear in front of Yi Lingxian and strike him. As for his sword, it had broken the limits of spastime. By the time they saw his sword, it had cut off Dong Fang Yuyang's arm. Even though Dong Fang Yuyang had been on guard against a sudden attack the entire time, he wasn't able to prevent this. Dong Fang Yuyang reached out to grab Yi Lingxian with his other hand, but when the sword shook again, his expression changed. His body became illusory. Dong Fang Yuyang's body was cleanly cut in two. However, this body was just an afterimage. He had fled miles away. Yi Lingxian fell from the sky, and Meng Chi caught her. After investigating her body, her fury soared. Despicable. There was a strange poison within Yi Lingxian's body that was devouring her soul. Give her to me. Lu Ruyan pressed her hand on Yi Lingxiang's back. At this moment, Yi Lingxian's face was rapidly turning black. Her life energy was rapidly fading. Die. Dong Fang Yuyang sneered from a distance. He formed hand seals, fully activating the poison in Yi Lingxian's body. A towering willow appeared behind Lu Ruyan. She snorted. A bit of witchcraft is all. The willow trembled and black chi flowed out of it, filling the air. It gave off a chilling aura. What powerful poison. Everyone was startled. Dong Fang Yuyang's despicableness made their hair stand up in anger. Fortunately, Lu Ruyan was an undying willow. She had drawn out the poison with her own body. Dong Fang Yuyang's expression sank. But then he laughed and entered the barrier of the altar, sneering at Long Chen. All your efforts were wasted. Now just wait to be killed. When the heaven-devouring fiend king is revived, you and your dragon blood legion will be erased from this world. Yi Lingxian had been saved, but all of Long Chen's previous effort was wasted. Everyone stared at the altar blankly. Yun Tian sheathed his sword, not continuing to attack Dong Fang Yuyang. He silently retreated to his original position. Before he could say anything, the pill fairy said, My pill valley's disciples joined the fight. While you interfered to save Yi Lingxian, we are even now. The disciples of Pill Valley had asked her what to do. Although she didn't encourage them, when Jarishan summoned them, she didn't stop them either. That could be counted as cheating. So she said that Yan Shian's interference by saving Yi Lingxian could cancel each other out. Furthermore, Yu Qingxuan also felt immense disgust for Dong Fang Yuyang's actions. She was embarrassed to be on the same side as him. Victory or defeat could be decided with an above-board fight, but Dong Fang Yuyang's actions had tainted their side. Now all of them were sharing a part of that infamy. Long Chen, you fool, why did you do this? Are you trying to turn me into the one who gets us all killed? You should never have saved me. Yi Lingxian couldn't stop herself from sobbing. She couldn't face such a life. This was worse than dying. Even as she cried, she couldn't help falling into Long Chen's embrace. She didn't know how she would face the future. How was she supposed to face the people of the Martial Heaven Alliance? She was currently not a powerful woman, but a lost and weak person. Sleep. You're overthinking it. Since I dared to save you, I won't let you die here. Long Chen patted Yi Lingxian's head. She fell unconscious. Long Chen handed her to Meng Chi and then took a deep breath. Evil Moon appeared in his hand. Right now, there was nothing else left to do other than fight. Buzz. The altar blazed with light, and the heaven-devouring fiend king's quivering body rose slowly. A burst of hair-raising laughter rang out. It was a chilling sound that pierced everyone's eardrums. The dragonblood warriors tensed up. The heaven-devouring fiend king had been revived. Chapter 2522 Luo Spirit Race Reinforcements Following the Laughter of the Heaven-Devouring Fiend King 
his giant body slowly shrank until he was the size of a normal person. However, his aura grew even more terrifying in this state. Although he was just a corpse, he was still shockingly strong. The Fiend King stretched his arms, causing a creaking sound to ring out. Black scales could be seen covering his arms, and his fingernails were three inches long, as well as black and shiny. There was nothing left on his face save for a layer of dried up skin attached to his skull. Also, everyone could see two dark green flames burning inside his otherwise empty eye sockets. After successfully reviving the Fiend King, Yi Ming formed some hand seals, and a strange mark appeared on his forehead. His body then vanished without a trace. The same mark also appeared within the Fiend King's eyes. His body began to shudder and glow. You dare to enslave this king? You have some gods. The Fiend King roared. I'm the one who bestowed you with life. Without me, you would have never had a chance to revive. Being my puppet is your honor. Yi Ming's voice rang out from within the Fiend King's body. Yi Ming was actually using a divine art to undergo some kind of possession. Bastard. Do you know who I am? A little false god who underwent rebirth dares to show such disrespect to this king. The Fiend King suddenly grabbed his head, as if trying to expel Yi Ming. I laid my soul seed while reviving you. Resistance is futile Yi Ming's voice rang out from within the Fiend King's body once more. After that. The Fiend King's eyes began to shine brighter and brighter. The Fiend King's body shook, and Black Chi gushed out of him, gradually encroaching on the tree behind him. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, are you preparing to attack me? The Fiend King suddenly stopped trembling and laughed. Long Chen, who had been accumulating energy beneath his feet, paused. He noticed that the Fiend King's voice had changed. It was now a combination of Yi Ming and the Fiend King's voices. The possession was completed so quickly that Long Chen didn't have a chance to interrupt it. I already said that everything was within my control. Although there were some unexpected mishaps, I'm still the winner. Await your deaths in despair. Yi Ming's voice rang out once more. He had fully merged with the heaven devouring Fiend King's corpse. Black Chi continued to pour out of his back, spreading further and further. The four large figures at the bottom of the altar began to shake as well. Yi Ming is drawing out the final bit of energy from the giant tree to nourish this corpse. Who would have thought that this practically dead tree would still possess such terrifying life energy? If it's all absorbed, this corpse's power will probably reach at least half of its peak. At that time, even an expert above Nether Passage might not be able to fight it evenly. What a scheme. Side Evil Moon. Being in possession of dark energy as well. Evil Moon was able to sense Yi Ming's actions easier and understand. Yi Ming's ambitions were truly large. Just at this moment, when the Black Chi began to envelop the tree, lines appeared throughout the tree, forming a barrier that blocked the Black Chi. What? Does it still have its own consciousness? Yi Ming was startled. Just as the final life energy of this tree was about to be taken, it ended up stimulating its self-protective will. Attack. Taking advantage of this awkward moment, Long Chen suddenly attacked. Through Evil Moon, Long Chen learned that Yi Ming was not in as good of a state as he wanted everyone to believe. At this time, he could not leave the altar, nor could he move this new body. If he did, it would sever his connection to the altar, preventing him from absorbing more of the tree's energy. In other words, the Fiend King's corpse would only ever have its current level of power and would no longer grow. With the tree protecting itself, Yi Ming would need to wait until that protective energy faded before he could continue absorbing anything. Hence, now was their last and best chance to interrupt Yi Ming. If they could do that, things would be salvageable. But if he was allowed to absorb the final life energy of the tree, they would be doomed. You're naive. Yi Ming sneered at Long Chen. You're the naive one. You keep playing this game of bravado and bluffing. Long Chen slashed Evil Moon. Boom. Suddenly, a large fist appeared out of the air, defending Yi Ming. What Long Chen felt a powerful force send him flying. His wrist broke, and Evil Moon flew out of his hold. He coughed up a mouthful of blood. Long Chen. Chu Yao cried out. Lu Ruyan sent out her branches to catch Long Chen, but he blasted through them. Thankfully, the branches cancelled out some of his momentum, allowing Chu Yao to catch him. She was shocked to find that all his bones had been broken in that one exchange. You overestimate your ability. 
The current you is nothing more than an ant in my eyes, sneered Yi Ming. At this moment, everyone realized that the four figures at the bottom of the altar had stood up. They were armored black giants. One of them pulled back his fist. He was the one who had attacked Long Chen just now. The four divine generals have revived. Everyone was shaken. Those four figures were like iron towers, giving off immense pressure. The four divine generals gave off icy killing intent. They were like giants from hell. It was unknown how many life forms they had killed to have their killing intent become almost solid. Even someone as powerful as Long Chen was unable to block a casual blow from them. Now that they were released from the altar, who could stop them? Just at this moment, figures began to break out of the cocoons on the giant tree's roots. These were newborn members of the heaven-devouring black armor cores. They were covered in scales and had bone blades in their hands. When they opened their eyes, they were clearly lost. And yet, when they saw the humans in the surroundings, a beast-like bloodthirstiness appeared in their eyes. Kill them, ordered Yi Ming. These newborn warriors charged at the dragon blood legion. The earth exploded as more and more warriors were born. Their numbers easily surpassed the millions, and more were continuing to come out. The dragon blood warriors' hearts turned cold when they saw this endless army. Even if the black armor cores just stood there and let themselves be killed, the dragon blood warriors wouldn't be able to kill them all. Every one of them had a powerful aura that was stronger than a fourth step nether passage disciple. As for their numbers, they were enough to bring forth despair. Even all the martial heaven continents experts added together were just a drop in the ocean in comparison. Brothers, this is going to be a tough battle, but our Dragonblood Legion has never been afraid of challenges. Brothers, fight. Long Chen took the lead, charging back into their midst. Evil Moon unleashed a wave of divine light to pull open the prologue of this battle. Long Chen's attack passed through the black armor cores blasting them apart. However, they were endless. More and more of them poured out to make up for the ones Long Chen killed. Meng Chi then formed hand seals, summoning giant figures. They were giant beast corpses. Every single one of them was as big as a mountain and emitting terrifying auras. Over 30 beasts roared at the same time, their voices shaking all the experts. Skeletons of beasts above Nether Passage. A startled cry rang out from someone who recognized them. Those beasts immediately charged forward, unleashing attacks that tore through the black armor cores. They were like an iron wall protecting the Dragonblood Legion. Meng Chi had summoned all her nether beasts at the same time, and their power stunned Jarishan and the others. They thanked their luck that Meng Chi hadn't summoned them before. These nether beasts were Meng Chi's strongest trump card. However, she had no choice but to use them now. They showed off their terrifying killing power managing to block the impact of the first wave. Only a portion of the black armor cores had managed to pass through. The dragonblood warriors were able to easily kill the remnants that passed through them. This gave a boost to the righteous path's experts. It seemed that they were still capable of fighting. All of a sudden, a bone blade passed through the air, slaying one of the nether beasts. One of the divine generals had appeared. Even these terrifying nether beasts were unable to stop him. Another divine general appeared as well. The two of them instantly created an opening within the defensive line. The two divine generals charged toward the Dragonblood Legion. Everyone's hearts clenched. Suddenly, the void shuddered and a giant tree appeared, flying toward them. At the same time, countless arrows rained down on the black armor cores. Its life spirit god and the Luo spirit race's warriors Long Chen was jubilant to see the Luo spirit race had come to assist him at this time. Chapter 2523 Fighting desperately to survive arrows rained down upon the black armor cores, and miserable cries rang out. The bodies of the black armor cores emitted white smoke and began to corrode upon being struck by those arrows. In the end, they transformed into liquid. Long Chen, we've come to help. Within the army came a golden scale blue eye eagle. Chi Li stood on its head with a bow in hand. Behind Chi Li stood La Wei who was repeatedly shooting arrows, which pierced through multiple bodies with every shot. His killing power was many times greater than before. Boom. Explosive sounds rang out as the elders of the Luo spirit race blocked the two divine generals. As more and more of them joined in, it became a battle of the Luo spirit race against the heaven-devouring black armor cores. The martial heaven continents experts were stunned. 
not understanding what was going on. Did they come to help Long Chen? Are these life forms on the same side as Long Chen? If Long Chen had such terrifying life forms on his side, why didn't he summon them earlier and end the battle before this? Countless questions appeared within the heads of the experts watching. Jarishan, Feng Fei, and the others were all shocked. They hadn't expected things to progress to this point. They knew of the Luo spirit race, but they hadn't known that they had such numbers and were so powerful. Chi Li, what's going on? Asked Long Chen. Long Chen, you're the prophesied son that we were waiting for. You're the only hope for us to take back our mother tree and wipe away our disgrace. Cried out Chi Li excitedly. The prophesied son? The mother tree? This giant tree is. Long Chen stared blankly. This tree is our mother tree, the mother of the life spirit god and the ancestral god of the Luo spirit race. In the battle of the Starfield Divine World back then, countless races were destroyed. It was world destroying, and our Luo spirit race did not escape unscathed. At that time, we were almost wiped out. In order to protect us, the mother tree gave birth to the life spirit god seed. We had no choice but to leave with a portion of our people. Enduring this humiliation and going into hiding. Once the battle was over and the Starfield Divine World was fractured, we returned to find the Mother Tree bound, becoming a tool for nourishing these evil fiends. Chi Li and La Wei's eyes reddened. They viewed the Mother Tree like a real mother. Hence, the Fiend King's actions were the greatest insult to the Luo spirit race. Their hatred for the Black Armor Corps could not be described with words. That was why they were charging forward without any fear. They didn't care whether or not they would be able to survive. Chi Li continued. The mother tree gave us one final order. To leave and not seek vengeance. She told us to patiently reproduce and wait for the day that the prophesied son would come and let us to take our vengeance. This was the prophecy of the mother tree. So every generation has been eagerly awaiting the prophesied son. Over a hundred thousand years ago. There was a white-robed expert who gave the current great prophet a crystal bone as well as a dried-up branch of the mother tree. He said that when an expert from the martial heaven continent came, we should give that crystal bone to him, for he was our prophesied son. The great prophet has already explained this secret to us, which was when we learned that big brother Long Chen was the one who could let us to reclaim our mother tree. Chi Li was so emotional that she began to cry. It was as if she could already see victory before her. The grievance of countless years was finally exposed. Kill. The Luo spirit race's experts charged forward recklessly. Their only goal was to kill as many enemies as possible. You want to compete in numbers with me? What a foolish and ignorant race. I'll show you despair. Yi Ming sneered and suddenly made a strange hand seal. The ground rumbled and collapsed. Revealing giant roots covered in cocoons. Those cocoons were constantly being broken, unleashing powerful warriors. Even with the earth gone, the giant tree didn't collapse. It floated there silently. As more and more roots were exposed, more warriors of the Black Armor Corps were unleashed. The mother tree was gigantic. It seemed as if the roots beneath the ground were just as large as the tree. It was unknown just how many enemies were hiding beneath it. At first, the addition of the Luo spirit race allowed Long Chen and the others to suppress the Black Armor Corps. But following Yi Ming's actions, in just a few minutes, the Black Armor Corps began to overwhelm them. The Luo spirit race was slowly becoming completely outnumbered. Even the life spirit god was surrounded. The experts watching had a bad feeling. In order to avoid being drawn into this terrifying battle, they chose to flee further. From that distance. They could only see one giant tree and one smaller tree completely surrounded by a sea of black. Even the Martial Heaven Continent's experts were no longer visible. Casualties began to appear within the Luo spirit race. Although their arrows were able to easily pierce the armor of the Black Armor Corps, they were completely outnumbered. They were at an immense disadvantage at such close range. Reclaim the Mother Tree. Kill. One of the experts was cut in two, but even with his death imminent, he let out a final roar. In his final moments, he stared at the mother tree with a gentle light in his eyes. His head was destroyed by one of the warriors of the Black Armor Corps who laughed and continued killing. The difference between the two sides is too great. It would be better to retreat before the encirclement is complete, said Mo Nian as he unleashed his arrows. 
The power disparity was so great that once they were completely encircled, the experts of the Martial Heaven Alliance and the Xuan Beasts would probably be wiped out to the last man. Within the endless sea of the Black Armor Corps, there was nothing that they could do. Their spiritual Yuan would eventually be exhausted, and then they would definitely die. Their only choice was to make one final attempt at breaking through. No, this is the final battle of our Luo spirit race. The prophesied sun will definitely lead us to victory shouted La Wei. Look carefully. Your elders are already exhausted handling the four divine generals. You say that Long Chen is your prophesied son, but Long Chen doesn't have a way to turn the tables. Staying is just suicide raged Mo Nian. Mo Nian also saw that the life spirit god was incapable of attacking. Its leaves were shining, most likely supporting the arrows and bows of the Luo spirit race. Otherwise, there was no way that their arrows could pierce the black armor core's armor so easily. Despite that, it was useless. There were too many enemies. They were outnumbered a thousand to one. Chi Li shook her head, firmly saying, Exactly. We will not retreat. Our prophesied son has appeared. So we definitely can win. If we lose, then we will all die fighting in front of the mother tree. We will not live with this disgrace any longer. After saying that, Chi Li and La Wei flew off, charging into the middle of the battlefield. Long Chen. Why aren't you saying anything? demanded Mo Nian. Long Chen had his eyes closed Novaloon.com Long Chen slowly opened his eyes. He looked at the life god tree as well as the prophet. He nodded his head to them. He announced, The Luo spirit race's prophet has informed me that Yi Ming is trying to control the will of the heaven devouring fiend king's corpse. Its will is connected to the souls of the black armor cores. To put it frankly, the black armor cores is the fiend king's puppet. Yi Ming is trying to draw out the Mother Tree's life energy to power up the Fiend King, but the Mother Tree is protecting itself. Hence, Yi Ming will need some time to break that defense. All we need to do is stop Yi Ming from controlling the Fiend King, and this Black Armor Corps will instantly die. Brothers, I'm going to make my move. Help me out. We'll end things in one blow. The Luo Spirit Race has saved us this time, and we have to repay the favor. Leave the Fiend King to me. Long Chen summoned his divine ring and battle armor, and five stars shone in his eyes. His powerful will soared, filled with killing intent that locked onto the distant Fiend King. Cloud piercing arrow. Mo Nian unleashed a giant arrow that pierced through the black armor cores, creating a path. Kill. Long Chen charged through the path, followed by Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and the others. The Dragonblood Legion and the Martial Heaven Continent's experts had formed a sharp spear charging through the battlefield. Chapter 2524 Pressing forward the entire battlefield followed Long Chen's actions. Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, Ziyan, and the others shot after him. At the same time, the disciples of the elusive music Immortal Palace unleashed waves of divine music and gentle light that enveloped their allies making them feel like their senses had suddenly sharpened. It was as if they had an extra pair of eyes giving them a bird's eye view. They could even feel the slightest vibrations in the air and every bit of chi flowing around them. Even in this battle involving millions of experts, they could sense everything clearly. Every expert would be affected by such a large-scale battle. Their perception and reaction speed would weaken, the degree of which depended on their spiritual strength. People with stronger spiritual strength had far sharper senses toward their surroundings, and as a result, it was much more difficult to launch a sneak attack against them. They would automatically sense someone within the range of their divine sense. Only an assassin on the level of Dong Mingaya would be able to trick the senses of such sharp people. By the time she struck, it would be too late to stop her. In battle, a person's senses could stretch a thousand miles easily but only a small core region could be sensed clearly. The further away, the more indistinct their senses would be. In a chaotic battle like this, those senses were suppressed even further. With the endless heaven devouring black armor cores around them, there was no way for most experts to properly sense things. By the time the black armor cores entered their attack range, they would have no time to react. However, the zither music instantly cleared up the chaos. In fact, they felt as if their senses were sharper than on a perfectly calm day. When a bone blade stabbed toward their back, they perfectly grasped its angle. 
power, and the identity of the attacker. It was like a blind person was suddenly able to see the world. They all felt as if they had become the masters of their own fate. It was difficult to explain with words. The elusive music Immortal Palace's divine arts were now displayed in the largest scale battle, shocking Long Chen and the others. It stimulated their desire to fight. With such sharp senses, they were able to easily dodge and counter the attacks of the Black Armor Corps as they passed through them. Wind Splitting Arrow After Mo Nian's first arrow, a second arrow came from Bidang Rushuang. The two of them kept the path open through the Black Armor Corps, preventing them from sealing the way. Originally, Chu Yao, Meng Qi, and the others were going to assist with this task to save Mo Nian and Bidang Rushuang's energy, but Bidang Rushuang stopped them. We're not skilled at close range and group battles. Our power is best used at this time. You save your energy for the more intense battle coming up, said Bidang Rushuang. Bidang Rushuang was well aware that the Dragonblood Legion excelled in a close range chaotic battle. Hence, she and Mo Nian focused their full efforts on opening a path for them. The rest would be up to Long Chen and the others. Suddenly, explosions began to ring out from behind, startling Long Chen. He looked back, what following his movements, the entire Luo spirit race had also decided to charge through the channel. They were like a giant dragon charging through the black armor cores. The millions and millions of Luo spirit race experts charged with their life spirit god. They were undergoing a full force onslaught, becoming his strongest shield at the rear. Long Chen's heart pounded. Did they really believe that he was the prophesied son? That was supposed to be Yun Tian. He looked toward Yun Tian and saw that he and Yu King Suan had vanished from sight. There were some sparks of fire as well as Sword Chi in the distance. It seemed that the two of them had resumed their battle. However, they were too far, and the Black Armor Corps blocked Long Chen's vision. The Dragon Blood Legion, the Martial Heaven Alliance, the Xuan Beasts, the Bidang family, the Nangong family, and the elusive music Immortal Palace's disciples were all charging with him. The Luo spirit race had even entrusted their future to him, so he could not retreat at this time. If he failed, he wouldn't have the face to keep living. Long Chen clenched his teeth, and his gaze landed on the heaven-devouring fiend king. A sharp light appeared in his eyes. It seemed that he would really be risking his life this time. Long Chen, you're so stupid. You've only caused everyone on your side to die. People of the Martial Heaven Alliance, hear me. My only targets are Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion. As long as you leave right now, I, Yi Ming, swear not to touch you, shouted Yi Ming. However, not one disciple of the Martial Heaven Alliance hesitated or even twitched at all. Their gazes were firm. It was unknown how many people from the Martial Heaven Alliance had originally felt that Long Chen would have a bad end sooner or later. They hadn't had a high opinion of him. However, despite trial after trial, he had yet to fall. He had created countless miracles on his journey, trampling over one powerful opponent after another. Back in the day, Long Chen had even announced that he was leaving the Martial Heaven Alliance in order to relieve it of the pressure of facing the entire world. He had cast all that danger onto himself and still survived that tribulation. However, whenever the Martial Heaven Alliance was in danger, Long Chen would stand up for it. This had affected this entire generation of young heavenly geniuses. Their blood was all fiery. Now, the Martial Heaven Alliance's fate was tightly bound to them and also Long Chen. Helping Long Chen was helping themselves. Even if they were facing the Divine Families and the Endless Black Armor Corps, their determination was not rattled. Yi Ming's poison was useless. Mo Nian and Bidang Rushuang continued to unleash powerful arrows that pierced through the Black Armor Corps. In just a few short breaths, they had shot hundreds of arrows. As they were flying, a splash of blood appeared on Bidang Rushuang's white robes. Rushuang. Only now did Nangong Zuayu notice that Bidang Rushuang's right hand was bleeding heavily. Her fingers had been badly damaged by the bowstring. Shooting such powerful arrows at this speed was clearly pushing herself too much. At the same time, everyone noticed that Mo Nian was the same. His right hand had turned red from blood. It's fine. Conserve your energy. We'll open the path. Bidang Rushuang clenched her teeth. With every arrow, blood splashed. Her face and hair were also stained by her blood. Despite that, 
She continued unleashing arrows with her full power. Yi Ming had taken note of what was going on with them. So he commanded the Black Armor Corps to gather and block them. The four Divine Generals in particular were incredibly powerful. Even if they were just revived corpses, they were still not something Nether Passage experts could handle. Furthermore, as corpses, they had no sense of pain. They were like puppets. They had been shot with hundreds of arrows by the elders of the Luo spirit race, but their combat power had not dropped. They were even more difficult to deal with than the living Black Armor cores. The Luo spirit race's arrows were blessed by the life spirit god, giving them immense penetrative power. They were even sharper than divine items. If the four divine generals were alive, they wouldn't be able to ignore the arrows so easily. Fortunately, the four divine generals were still tied down by the elders. They were unable to block Long Chen and the others. Thanks to Mo Nian and Bidang Rushuang, Long Chen and the others quickly reached the altar. Long Chen, it's up to you now, called Mo Nian. Don't worry, if I can't eliminate this fiend king, I'll kill myself as an apology. Long Chen took a deep breath and suddenly took out the demon moon furnace. Flames burst out of it, igniting the world. I'll show you the purest karmic hell flames from purgatory. Chapter 2525 Hating my weak self the primal chaos space inside of Long Chen shuddered, and the majority of the karmic hell flames hanging in it were sucked away into the outside world. Using the world extermination flame Lotus had exhausted Huo Linger's core energy. As Long Chen no longer had the power to unleash it at full power again, he could only draw out the karmic hell flames. The karmic hell flames immediately unleashed an intense blaze that rushed toward Yi Ming. Any members of the Black Armor Corps that were touched by them were incinerated. The karmic hell flames were powerful, but Long Chen had to conserve a small portion of them for Huo Linger. Once she could devour them, she would be able to manifest herself as karmic hell flames. As for the karmic hell flames that he took out into the world, they were constantly exhausted and would sooner or later extinguish. You still want to use this move? Naive. Yi Ming sneered. He ordered the Black Armor Corps to charge straight at Long Chen. Their bodies suddenly began to swell. Boom. Explosions echoed as thousands of them began to detonate, blocking Long Chen. This time, the void was sent into wild chaos that forced Long Chen back. I have countless warriors at my disposal, and they can use their lives to show their value. This tree's defensive will is on the verge of vanishing completely. Then I can absorb all of its energy and have the Fiend King recover to 50% of its peak power. At that time, even if experts above Nether Passage come, I can still wipe them out with a wave of my hand. You fools really did get dragged down by Long Chen. I'll give you one last chance. Other than Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion, as long as you retreat, I will give you a path to live, announced Yi Ming. Shut up, you despicable demon. Do you think the righteous path would believe your lies? You're the naive one. You're just going to wipe us out as soon as we separate, aren't you? Your word is worthless cursed one of the righteous disciples. Explosions continued to echo as the Black Armor Corps warriors detonated in front of Long Chen. He was unable to get past them. Yi Ming was truly vicious. Tens of thousands of warriors were detonating with every blink of an eye to block Long Chen. Big Brother Long Chen, prepare yourself. The Life Spirit God will open a path for you, shouted La Wei from the rear. All of a sudden, the sky darkened and cloud-like leaves flew out, creating a channel. Everything within that channel was peaceful. The detonations were unable to shake it. Idiots, I won't let you pass. Jarishan suddenly appeared in front of Long Chen, smashing the heaven-suppressing dragon coiling staff at him. You irritating dwarf. Come and fight me. Wild charged over with the door bolt. In terms of power, other than Long Chen, only Wild could face Jarishan directly. Scram you dumb oaf. Jarishan snorted and ignored Wild, continuing to attack Long Chen. Long Chen, don't waste your time on him. Leave him to us. Transmitted Chu Yao. Her senses were telling her that the mother tree's will was growing weaker and weaker. It was like a dam was about to burst. All that life energy was going to burst forth. Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, Tang Wanur, and the others attacked Jarishan. Wooden stakes, willow branches, and wind blades coiled around him. Jarishan roared furiously. Seeing that Jarishan had been blocked, Feng Fei appeared, 
pointing her sword at Long Chen. Leave her to me. Suddenly, two voices rang out at the same time. One came from Zi Yan, while the other came from Dong Mingyu. The seven string C suppressing zither suddenly quivered, and its previously gentle zither music became filled with a murderous aura. Zi Yan's manifestation appeared behind her. The sound of the tide resounded throughout heaven and earth. There was an endless sea within her manifestation. Immortal mist spiraled out of the sea, while an ancient zither floated in the sky. The ancient zither blocked out the sun. There was a figure beside the zither, her long fingers dancing over the zither strings. With every note, the world rumbled. This zither could it be? Feng Fei's expression instantly changed upon seeing the ancient zither. Invisible blades suddenly appeared in the air, falling upon Feng Fei. The blades pierced through the void as zither music played. Their tempo was identical. Feng Fei repeatedly slashed her sword, blasting apart the blades. The sound of the blades exploding merged with the music, making it even stronger. The murderous aura also grew. Bells began to appear in the air, smashing toward Feng Fei. The air suddenly transformed into a sea of musical instruments. There were bells, flutes, sound bowls, and countless others. The zither was like the king of these instruments, pressing them onward. As the tempo increased, the attacks got more concentrated, and the power grew along with it. The sky trembled. It was as if the music had become the Tao, as well as the heavens. Everyone was stunned. Not having expected the zither fairy to possess such power, she was actually able to use her music to trap Feng Fei. Before this, the dragon blood legion had been worrying about how to stop Feng Fei with Mo Nian exhausted, but Zi Yan had truly given them a nice surprise. Feng Fei's manifestation rumbled behind her, and a phoenix cry rang out. Her sword unleashed waves of divine light that blasted apart the images of the musical instruments. However, Every time one of them was broken, her head would shake. They were not real, but they contained their own curious laws. When they exploded, strange sound waves would spread. A note would appear within the zither music whenever she broke one. Gradually, she found that her own actions were sinking into the tempo of the music. She couldn't stop herself from fighting according to Zi Yan's rhythm. Feng Fei was stunned. If Zi Yan could control the tempo, then she would fall under her control. God extermination slash, Feng Fei's sword suddenly exploded with light, and her sword chi enveloped the heavens. As a result, a giant explosion drowned out the music, blasting apart all the instruments. Feng Fei finally had a chance to escape Zi Yan's control. She then shot after Zi Yan to kill her once and for all. However, just as she moved, her expression completely changed. As the void trembled, she shook and suddenly retreated. Her sword raised toward her own throat. Sparks flew as the sword just barely managed to stop a dagger that was about to reach her throat. The dagger then vanished and kept appearing around Feng Fei's body repeatedly. Feng Fei's sword danced. In the blink of an eye, the dagger had clashed with her sword dozens of times. She could only sense the dagger but not the wielder. It curiously flashed around her, as if it was an emissary sent from hell to take her life. Finally. In the final clash, she vaguely saw a small figure holding the dagger, but that figure then faded along with the dagger. Dong Mingyu had tried to assassinate Feng Fei, but Feng Fei was too powerful. She managed to block Dong Mingyu's assassination attempt. When she vanished, Feng Fei was pale. Just now, any mistake could have gotten her killed. Every single attack had been a killing blow. Just at this moment, she felt something hot on her neck. She heard startled cries from the distant disciples of the Divine Families Noveloon.com Senior Feng Fei has been injured. They all saw a thin cut on Feng Fei's neck, and blood slowly dripped out. Just at this moment, thin lines appeared in the void, slashing toward Feng Fei like sharp blades. Through Dong Mingyu's attacks, the advantageous position that Feng Fei had made for herself vanished. She fell into dangerous straits once more. The lines were like zither strings slicing through heaven and earth. When Feng Fei slashed them, zither music exploded in the air. This zither music was actually backed by Feng Fei's own power. With Feng Fei held back by Zi Yan, along with a terrifying assassin like Dong Mingyu lurking, there was no way that she could stop Long Chen. Long Chen made a rush for Yi Ming. As for Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, Nangong Zuyu, 
and the others. They went off to assist the elders of the Luo spirit race against the four divine generals. The others clashed against the black armor cores in a desperate battle. Long Chen. Taste my trident. The void suddenly trembled. And two figures came rushing over. At the front was the six-horned sea serpent. While Hu Feng was chasing him. It seemed that the six-horned sea serpent had immediately rushed back after escaping his bindings. The sea god trident raged with the sound of a giant tsunami. Boom. Long Chen was startled. The six-horned sea serpent seemed to have awakened some kind of power since their last battle. This trident's power was truly terrifying. Even blocking with his full power, Long Chen ended up coughing up blood. Just as Long Chen was knocked back, a spear silently appeared behind Long Chen, piercing through his chest. Long Chen, in the end, you still died to my hands. Dong Fang Yuyang smiled contemptuously, having appeared behind Long Chen. Long Chen. In that instant, it felt like time had frozen. Long Chen had been heavily injured by two powerful experts, and that spear was piercing his body. His life was in Dong Fang Yuyang's hands. Big brother Long Chen, Qi Li and La Wei were nearby. Qi Li immediately sent her mount flying over. Don't, shouted Long Chen however, his shout was too late. Qi Li's arrow was caught by Dong Fang Yuyang, and with a flick of his wrist, he sent it piercing through Qi Li's body, also piercing the golden scale blue eye eagle. Big brother Long Chen, the prophesied son, you will definitely let us, to reclaim the mother tree definitely even as Qi Li's body fell from the sky. Her eyes were filled with an intense thirst as she looked at Long Chen. Bang, bang, bang. Long Chen's heart pounded. Darkness manifested from the depths of his eyes, and his aura turned icy and eerie. I hate my weak self. Looking at the spear piercing out of his chest, Long Chen slowly grabbed the tip. Boom. The spear exploded. Chapter 2526 Final Trump Card A Divine Spear exploded right inside of Long Chen's body, leaving behind a bloody hole in his chest. Meanwhile, Dong Fang Yuyang was blown back by the impact, barely stabilizing himself far in the distance. He then stared at Long Chen in shock. He didn't want to kill Long Chen instantly because he wished to savor Long Chen's expression of despair before death. The crazed gazes of the Dragonblood Legion, as well as the sight of Meng Chi and the others' hearts breaking. He hated Long Chen as well as envied him. After all his effort, he had finally had Long Chen's life in his hands. With just a thought, he could have blasted Long Chen apart with his spear. However, it didn't work. The instant Long Chen grabbed his spear, Dong Fang Yuyang unleashed the explosive power contained within it, that should have blown Long Chen up without a trace. It contained not just his power but also Long Chen's. Yet, the power of the spear was suppressed by some domineering energy, which then contained the explosion within a limited area. The hand that had grabbed the spear was now a mass of flesh and blood. Long Chen still held the tip of the spear with it. Long Chen then clenched his gory hand, and the strongest toughest part of the spear slowly transformed into golden powder that blew away with the wind. Long Chen's aura grew icier and icier. That was a terrifying iciness that enveloped everyone's hearts, including those allied with him. What happened to him? Tang Wan'er stared in shock. Long Chen's aura was completely foreign. It was filled with darkness and killing intent as if he was another person. Meng Chi and the others were all stunned. They had never seen Long Chen like this and it gave them chills. Suddenly, a powerful roar shook everyone's ears. It was like thunder exploding in their ear canals. All other sounds were drowned out by it. All of a sudden, a black dragon appeared behind Long Chen, and a terrifying aura soared out of it. Most shocking of all, this giant dragon actually had two heads, and both had roared at the same time. In that instant, the stars were shaken and the nine heavens quaked. A sinister aura suppressed everything else. People stared in shock at that black two-headed dragon, unaware that this giant dragon was a manifestation of Evil Moon's soul. Long Chen, wake up. The black dragon roared with both its heads once more. Following Evil Moon's roar, a glimmer of light appeared within Long Chen's black eyes. That light gradually grew until Long Chen's icy aura vanished and he returned to his normal appearance. The black dragon also vanished as if nothing had happened. Long Chen stared blankly at the hole in his chest. Long Chen, hurry up and heal your injuries. I'll use my life essence to help you destroy that altar. 
transmitted Evil Moon. Long Chen had reached his limit, so Evil Moon couldn't hold back any longer. If you use your life energy, you'll never be able to recreate your physical body and reach your old peak. Thank you, but I still have my own trump card left. I won't let you make such a sacrifice. Long Chen shook his head. He then began to stuff his mouth with giant pills, causing the sixth star within his divine ring to slowly light up. Ha ha ha. The mighty Long Chen has actually reached the point of needing to drug himself up? Long Chen, you've really fallen. Jarishan laughed disdainfully. This kind of move was nothing more than a display of powerlessness, as it meant that all trump cards had been exposed. It was a self-destructive method of relying on medicinal power to ignite your potential. The sixth star in Long Chen's divine ring flickered, growing brighter and brighter. Long Chen's own aura also grew, as if some terrifying monster was on the verge of awakening. Long Chen, stop. You don't have anyone to guide you in the nine-star hegemon body art. Your cultivation path has very likely deviated from the correct path. That nine-star air from the heaven-shrouding mirror had only reached the five-star battle armor, but he was many times stronger than you. With your current physical body, even if you've received the nourishment of the dragon blood, you definitely cannot summon the six-star battle armor. You have to reach the realm above Nether Passage first before trying, or your body won't be able to endure it. Roared Evil Moon Long Chen didn't listen and continued stuffing giant pills into his mouth. These were the gains made by the moon and star refining furnace all this time. In order to allow itself to recover quickly, it was constantly refining pills. Hence, the nethergate pills had piled into mountains, and Long Chen had already reached his limit of consuming them. Long Chen had also noticed that his cultivation path might have deviated from the correct nine-star hegemon body art. It was because that nine-star air he had encountered was many times stronger than him. His domineering aura was something his current physical body wasn't necessarily able to endure. Long Chen had been planning on only attempting to reach the level of the six-star battle armor after advancing beyond Nether Passage. But now he had no other choice. Either he sacrificed Evil Moon's future, or he risked everything on a gamble to see if he could endure the impact of the six-star battle armor. Since his path had deviated, then the six-star battle armor shouldn't be as powerful as it would be if cultivated correctly. So the strain from using it shouldn't be as great. He felt like he did have a chance. As the medicinal pills entered his mouth, he activated the Swallow the Heavens, Devour the Earth Divine Ability. Because of this, endless energy raged throughout Long Chen's body, pouring toward the Nethergate Star. With every flicker of the sixth star in his divine ring, Long Chen's aura fiercely climbed. The Nethergate Star above his Danchen was slowly growing. It emitted energy that was echoed by the Feng Fu, Alioth, Life Star. Enlightenment Palace, and Divine Gate Stars. His 108,000 astral spaces also shivered, as all the energy was creating a shocking current throughout his body. The sound of the tide caused heaven and earth to rumble. Quick, kill Long Chen. Yi Ming's expression changed as he suddenly sensed a strong feeling of unease. It might even be fear. Protect the boss. Guo Ran immediately shouted. The dragon blood legion quickly formed up around Long Chen. With Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Yu Zifeng, Gu Yang, and the others standing guard on the outside, the Martial Heaven Alliance and the Xuan Beasts experts also stood around Long Chen, ready to attack or defend. Haha, <laughs> now it's our turn to be the main force. You can all die, you ants. Jarishan laughed and swung the heaven suppressing dragon coiling staff at them. In one blow, hundreds of the Righteous Path's disciples were killed. Jarishan. You little fucker, if you have the gods, come at me, raged Guo Ran. Jarishan was incredibly sinister, ignoring the dragon blood legion's formation and attacking the weaker disciples. He was a sovereign sprout, so those ordinary disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance could not possibly match him. With every blow, he slaughtered a mass of them. Because of him, a rain of blood fell. The dragon blood warrior's eyes reddened. Those fallen disciples had fought alongside the Dragonblood Legion. They were their comrades in arms. Seeing them killed, the Dragonblood warriors were enraged. But they couldn't leave their formation. Jarishan seemed to be doing it on purpose. Lingering over the outer edge and slaughtering the weaker disciples. 
there wasn't a single person capable of matching him there. Hu Feng was also infuriated. The heavenly fate died behind him spun, and with the heavenly nine tiles in hand, he shot after Jarishan. Ha ha ha, you think you can catch me? Keep dreaming. Jarishan sneered and avoided Hu Feng, not even letting him get close. Jarishan didn't want to get trapped in the die, so he flew around the outer edge, occasionally striking with the heaven-suppressing dragon coiling rod. Jarishan, are you even fucking human? Since ancient times, battles have always been fought with dignity. Soldiers against soldiers, generals against generals. What kind of bastard are you to kill the weak? Hu Feng roared furiously. He had always been a refined man, but now he broke into curses. Jarishan was absolutely despicable. As a sovereign sprout of the divine families, he was actually attacking ordinary disciples. They're doing it on purpose. They want us to break our formation and leave our boss defenseless. Gu Yang furiously clenched his teeth at this moment. The corrupt path's disciples and the heaven-devouring black armor cores also attacked. Disciples of the divine families, hear my orders. Kill Long Chen, shouted Jarishan. The divine family's disciples immediately charged out, fighting alongside the corrupt disciples against the martial heaven alliance. However, there was one conspicuous group amongst the divine families that didn't move. You dare to disobey orders. Jarishan glared at them. This group was the eighth heavenly dragon legion. From the beginning, they had only stood there, not making any move. Before this, they were mixed into the crowd and hadn't been conspicuous. But now that everyone else shot off, their silence was apparent. Shen Chen Feng shook his head. Long Chen is our brother who fought alongside us before. To betray the divine families is disloyal, and to betray a brother is injustice. Since we cannot accommodate both, we will not help either side. Once we return to the divine families, we will accept any punishment, even if it means being expelled from the divine family. Shen Chen Feng looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression. After considering everything, he had chosen to take this path. Bastard, you dare to disobey orders? When we get back. I'll make sure you're all executed roared Jarishan. Whatever punishment we receive, we'll listen. Even if it's execution, said Shen Chen Feng indifferently. Even if it's execution, the eighth Legion's warriors echoed his words. Their voices firm. Their determination was unshackable. Bastards. Just wait. Jarishan raged. But now wasn't the time to deal with Shen Chen Feng. Jarishan then cast his rage on the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. The four divine generals are coming. Stop them, shouted someone from the Martial Heaven Alliance. The four divine generals were breaking away from their blockade. Chapter 2527 Six Star Battle Armor Under Yi Ming's Orders The entire Black Armor Corps was charging toward Long Chen. The divine generals had also managed to throw off the blockade of the elders of the Luo spirit race Sharishan, Dongfang Yuiang and the six-horned sea serpent were now slaughtering the righteous path's disciples. If the four divine generals arrived, things would be even more troublesome. Long Chen, you coward. You're just going to hide in your turtle shell as all these innocent people die because of you. Provoked Dongfang Yuiang as he attacked despite the slaughter. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples did not retreat. They didn't even try to get closer to Long Chen. They used their own lives to win him some time. All disciples of the Luo spirit race, protect the prophesied son, protect our benefactor. The voice of the Luo spirit race's prophet resounded throughout the battlefield. Yes, the Luo spirit race's disciples charged at Jarishan and the others. They then self-detonated, using the powerful explosive energy to force their enemies back using their lives and numbers. They reduced the casualties of the Martial Heaven Alliance meanwhile. The sixth star within Long Chen's divine ring was still flickering. His aura was growing stronger and stronger. Like a volcano about to erupt Long Chen had entered a critical state. Hence, Yi Ming was panicking. As he had also entered a crucial juncture and couldn't be disturbed he directly gave the order for the four divine generals to do anything they could to interrupt Long Chen. One of them had even sacrificed an arm to escape the elders of the Luo spirit race. Their arrival instantly added immense pressure to the Dragonblood Legion. Their defensive formation was torn open. The worst thing was that this opening was taken advantage of by Jarishan. 
the six-horned sea serpent, and Dongfang Yuian cloud transformed into a giant cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow and blocked the six-horned sea serpent. Her wings then slashed down, unleashing a wave of golden light. Scram! The six-horned sea serpent swung his sea god trident. As a result, a wave appeared in the sky and sent cloud tumbling back. A mass of rainbow feathers fell. I have the power of the sea god supporting me. Who can block me? The six-horned sea serpent roared wild charged at Jarishan once more, but he was forced back miserably. His face was pale, and he could no longer maintain his giant form. Even the golden spots on his skin had dimmed wild furiously ate a few more mouthfuls of food and attacked again, but he was still sent flying. He was almost exhausted. The rate at which he ate could not keep up with the energy he was burning. In his hungry state, his combat power plummeted Li Ruian and Chu Yao summoned endless wooden staves and willow branches to block Jarishan, but they were unable to stop him a ray of sword chi slashed toward Dongfang Yuiang. Looking at the attack coming, Dongfang Yuiang snorted and his body became illusory. Yu Zifeng's sword passed right through him this was the same move that Di Feng had learned previously. Now, it had been mastered by Dongfang Yuiang. After that, Dongfang Yuiang's manifestation appeared behind him, and three emperors unleashed their divine pressure upon the world. Peng Emperor Cloud Splitting Clash. Dongfang Yuiang slashed his sword along with a giant wing, which was like a sharp saber. It felt as if people's souls were being sliced apart before it even reached them. Block it, shouted Gu Yang. He, Yu Zifeng, Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu and the others all attacked to block it boom the giant wing exploded after being struck by all their attacks. However, Gu Yang and the others hacked up blood Dongfang Yuiang's attack was too powerful. Although it was the divine art of the Peng Emperor, it was supported by the power of the other two emperors. Hence, the power of this attack was even capable of threatening experts above Nether Passage they were all shocked by how powerful Dongfang Yuiang was. His power had far surpassed their expectations. He had truly hidden himself deeply as Gu Yang and the others were knocked back. Tang Wanner was particularly pale, looking like she was about to faint. A sinister smile suddenly appeared on Dong Fang Yu Yang's face. He then pounced toward her, reaching for her throat. Wanner, Men Chi and the others cried out. Dong Fang Yu Yang was truly sinister. If Tang Wanner fell into his hands, he would definitely use her to blackmail Long Chen again. But even as they rushed toward her, they knew that they wouldn't get there as quickly as Dong Fang Yu Yang. Just as Dong Fang Yu Yang was about to reach Tang Wanur, his vision changed. He saw a pair of icy eyes. Long Chen. Dong Fang Yu Yang was badly shocked. Long Chen had clearly been in the distance. So how had he come over here? Long Chen grabbed Dong Fang Yu Yang's extended hand and Dongfang Yuiang instantly felt a sharp pain as if his wrist was going to be broken Dongfang Yuiang quickly sent his other hand snaking toward Long Chen's eyes. A normal person would retreat to avoid having their eyes plucked out. At this distance, both of them were too close for Long Chen to try to kick him. Retreating was his only option however, Long Chen didn't bat an eye. His other hand was shockingly accurate as it grabbed the attacking hand just before Dongfang Yuiang reached his eyes just at this moment. The sixth star in Long Chen's divine ring began to flicker far more intensely. His aura also grew unstable. He's going to explode Dongfang Yuiang grew afraid. He suddenly noticed that Long Chen's veins were throbbing. Faint cracks covered his skin, and blood slowly oozed out Dongfang Yuiang struggled, sending a knee into Long Chen's abdomen. But Long Chen didn't even react endless energy was raging throughout his body as the Nethergate star had finally finished the nine star transformations. The Feng Fu, Aliyah, Life Fate, Enlightenment Palace, Divine Gate, and Nethergate stars had all formed a channel. The instant that channel appeared, Long Chen's meridians felt like they were being stabbed. His physical body began to swell as they could not contain this power right now. Long Chen was just one step from summoning the six-star battle armor. However, once he did, he didn't know if he could survive the impact. Long Chen, you're going to die. Howl Devil Moon Long Chen's current state could barely handle the nine-star transformations. If he tried to bring out the six-star battle armor, he might die instantly. Evil Moon had tried to study the nine-star hegemon body art, but it was far too domineering. 
the requirements were too high. It wasn't something a human could cultivate, and not even the dragon race's bodies could endure it. Perhaps only the true dragon race might have someone capable of cultivating it when Long Chen had reached the third star transformation. He had been forced to slow down because his body had shown signs of collapsing. However, after undergoing the transformation of the Dragon King's essence blood, he was able to break his limits and was forced to take this risk seeing the Luo spirit race's warriors voluntarily detonating themselves to buy him time. Long Chen clenched his teeth. If I die, I die. My life was saved by the Luo spirit race. I'll just have to pay them back with my life if I have no other choice. Six Star Battle Armor Long Chen let out a roar that was like a devil god's roar. It shook the nine heavens. Following it, the world turned dark, and a ferocious power unfurled around Long Chen. The sixth star in Long Chen's divine ring blazed with light and connected with the other five stars, creating a six-point star diagram the instant the six-point star diagram appeared. The entire star field divine world shuddered. The land split apart and the stars in the sky shook. Even the laws of the world crumbled. As a result, it was possible to see countless vertical lines trembling in the void. Even the heavenly fate lines of the world have been exposed. This is truly a power that can overturn a world. Yes, he is definitely the prophesied son. The prophet of the Luo spirit race stared at those lines in shock. The battle paused and everyone started in horror. It felt as if the world was about to collapse. Gravity no longer existed. Countless boulders began to float into the sky like stars when they looked at Long Chen. They felt as if he had opened the gate to a different world. Berserk energy was rushing through him and into this world Long Chen still had hold of Dong Fang Yuyang's wrists. Dong Fang Yuyang screamed. The Qi waves were like wind blades cutting through his body. He crazily fought to escape, but he was unable to. His body was quickly turned into a lacerated mess of flesh and blood suddenly. Blood splashed as Dong Fang Yuyang's arms left his shoulders. He flew back everyone was startled by this. Just what method had Long Chen used to make Dong Fang Yuyang unable to escape? Even then, why hadn't he just cut his wrists off to flee? Why cut his arms off from the shoulders? Dong Fang Yuyang immediately tried to heal with heavenly Tao energy. However, he then let out a startled cry. What? Dong Fang Yuyang realized that he was unable to heal his arms with heavenly Tao energy. Boom, the world suddenly returned to calm. The boulders hanging in the sky fell to the ground once more. Everyone looked at Long Chen. Chapter 2528 One roar shatters the heavens. The originally faint blue color within Long Chen's divine ring was now deep blue like the sea. It was evenly matched with the red, orange, yellow, green, and azure colors. All six colors lit up the heavens. The six colored divine ring slowly began to spin, with three colors going clockwise and three colors going counterclockwise. Their light illuminated the cosmos becoming one with all laws and deos the red, yellow, and azure colors were going counterclockwise, while the orange, green, and blue were going clockwise. This opposite spin created an unprecedented divine ring. The six stars within the divine ring were embedded into the inner ring. The Feng Fu star unleashed divine light that illuminated the Aleph star. The Aleph star's light illuminated the Life Fate star. Then it was the Enlightenment Palace star, the Divine Gate star and the Nethergate star. Finally, the Nethergate star's light shone onto the Feng Fu star. The six stars in his divine ring were the same size and emitted identical fluctuations. They formed a strange loop that reflected upon the divine ring. Long Chen stood illuminated in the center of this divine ring and six-point star. However, within that divine light, he didn't appear well. His body was covered in blood, which slowly dripped down his fingertips. Upon striking the ground, White mist spurted out of the ground the stones of the ground melted upon contact with Long Chen's blood as if it was hotter than lava. Long Chen, Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and the others were filled with heartache looking at Long Chen. He was covered in wounds, and his physical body had clearly reached its limit. Although he had managed to succeed in summoning the six-star battle armor, the burden was too great. You're crazy. Evil Moon sighed. It had felt that Long Chen's body would explode but his physical body was a bit stronger than expected. However, rather than his body, Evil Moon felt that Long Chen's will was the most terrifying aspect that enabled this miracle to happen upon reaching the limit of his physical body. 
Long Chen had used his will to force the nine-star hegemon body art to adapt to his body, rather than his body having to meet the requirements of the nine-star hegemon body art. He was the one forcing the nine-star hegemon body art to accept his body. This was something that Evil Moon hadn't thought of although it was a success. The current Long Chen was definitely on the verge of collapse. Ha ha ha, that appearance of yours is quite shocking, but it's useless. Your physical body cannot handle that power. As long as you use the slightest force, even without any of us doing anything, you'll explode. How truly laughable. I thought that you had some terrifying trump card, but you are just making us laugh ourselves to death. Ha ha ha. Yi Ming laughed Long Chen's body suddenly vanished, and Yi Ming's laughter disappeared just as quickly. With a roar, he raised the heaven-devouring Fiend King's arms to parry a bloody fist boom the altar beneath Yi Ming's feet instantly exploded, and even the tree roots connected to it crumbled the altar that they had been desperately trying to destroy the entire time was shattered in one blow. At the same time, scales exploded off of the Fiend King's arms and he smashed into the tree trunk after that. Yi Ming coughed up a mouthful of dark green blood, which suddenly flowed into the tree. It was the life essence of the mother tree. Now it was being absorbed back into it. Everyone was shocked by Long Chen's power as they were all profoundly aware of how terrifying the altar was. With its barrier up, no one had been able to charge through it. There had been no way to damage it. Otherwise, Long Chen wouldn't have been forced to use the karmic hell flames and gather the power of millions of people to attempt to burn it, only to fail. But now, one punch had shattered it. Ha ha ha. Good. I underestimated you. Yi Ming wiped off the blood from his mouth. However, you're too late. Even though you cut me off, I've gathered enough energy to allow this corpse to recover a tenth of its power from when it was alive. A tenth of the Fiend King's power is enough to challenge experts above Nether Passage. As for you, it seems that your arm won't be able to endure more than a few more strikes. Yi Ming's last sentence drew everyone's attention to the arm that Long Chen had used to attack. They found that his arm was badly mangled, and even his bones were revealed. Long Chen's current power was absolutely terrifying, but his physical body didn't match it. At this rate, it would only take a few more exchanges before his body collapsed. Long Chen, you've lost. Even if I just stand here and let you hit me, how long can you last? Three hits? Five hits? Ten hits? But what about afterward? At most, you can give me some unremarkable injuries, but you will die. Your brothers will all die here. As for your beauties, he, well they'll probably face a fate worse than death. Laughed Yi Ming Long Chen slowly walked toward Yi Ming, his footsteps echoing. I, Long Chen, rose from the eastern wastelands. The path I walked was covered in corpses. I don't know how many demons and monsters I've slain, or how many so-called geniuses who thought too much of themselves. But I've never been able to figure out one question. Why is it that despite the world being so big, you all have to target me? I've always wanted to live a simple peaceful life where I am free to exist, but you all have to set yourselves against me. I don't want to kill you, but you send yourselves to me, forcing me to kill you. Now I no longer feel like I am myself. I don't want to be tyrannical and bloodthirsty. I don't want to become a fearsome person, but you keep forcing me. Since you all like courting death so much, fine, you're the ones who forced me. So don't blame me for killing you all. Killing intent and violence exploded out of Long Chen along with his final words. This aggressiveness made even people on his side feel afraid when they came to their senses. Long Chen was already charging toward Yi Ming with his fist smashing forward. Kill us all? Haha, <laughs> what a joke. Just you ha Yi Ming's words were cut off when he noticed that Long Chen's arm had fully recovered in just a split second. Long Chen's fist landed on Yi Ming's chest resulting in the scales covering the Fiend King's chest exploding and the chest caving in. This violent burst of power caused a huge ball of light to appear in the void, a sign that the laws of the earth were shattered. The Fiend King's body shot back like a cannonball, tearing through the void. Not good. The Divine Family's experts were horrified to realize that the Fiend King's corpse was flying toward them. Run. Regretfully, they were too slow. The Fiend King's body was causing the void around it to collapse resulting in a mass of the divine families, corrupt path, ancient family alliance, 
and Pill Valley's disciples dying the power of the six-star battle armor was truly immense. It was so great that it even broke the laws of the Starfield Divine World. The Fiend King's body had killed over a hundred thousand disciples the other disciples turned green with fright and fled for their lives. This battlefield was no longer theirs Long Chen didn't chase after Yi Ming. Instead, he arrived among the sea demon race these brainless fools had been the main force of the last attack. They weren't like the other groups that had been launching sneak attacks. Hence, it was unknown just how many disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance and the Luo spirit race they had killed. Run, the sea demon race's experts instantly fled when he arrived in their midst. All of you can die. Long Chen let out a heaven, shaking roar, and the divine ring behind him suddenly became still. The six stars trembled, and a formless wave of light exploded. The sea demons had just started running when their bodies suddenly stiffened. Their heads then exploded. In an instant, a giant sphere of death spread around Long Chen. Almost a million corpses fell to the ground. Horrifying everyone. What kind of technique is that? Even Guo Ran and the others were horrified. They had never seen such a terrifying attack. He used his spiritual strength to unleash his domineering will and directly crush their souls. Long Chen's spiritual strength has always been powerful, but now it seems to have merged with his will. Other than peak experts, probably not many people can survive it. The sea demons in particular don't have powerful spiritual strength explained Meng Chi. Although that was the theory, to see it in action was truly terrifying the sea demon race had come into the Starfield Divine World with 1,500,000 experts. After several encounters with Long Chen and some losses in other areas, they were down to less than a million. Hence, this one roar from Long Chen almost wiped them out. The only one remaining from the sea demon race was the six-horned sea serpent, Long Chen. The six-horned sea serpent only recovered from the side of this reality after a long moment of shock. With a mournful roar, he charged over with the sea god trident. His manifestation then exploded, transforming into golden flames that enveloped him. The six-horned sea serpent had gone crazy. He was the future king of the sea demon race, and the experts he had brought along with him were the elites of the sea demon race. They were the cornerstones of his dream of marching onto the Martial Heaven continent and claiming it for the sea demon race now. Everything was gone. In his crazed state, he even sacrificed his manifestation to multiply his power. He wanted to kill Long Chen. Nothing else mattered. Long Chen took a deep breath. Ten heavenly killing demon trees within his primal chaos space instantly withered. The cracks that had appeared on his body and arm instantly recovered. Die. Long Chen directly punched the Sea God Trident. Chapter 2529 Play Stupid Games. Win Stupid Prizes Boom. Long Chen's fist violently smashed into the Sea God Trident, shattering this inherited divine item of the Sea Demon race into tiny golden fragments. Long Chen's fist then continued onward to strike the six horned sea serpent's head, and it exploded along with his body. What everyone was stunned and appalled. What kind of power was this? With his bare hands, Long Chen had shattered a divine item and killed the king of the six-horned sea serpent race even when the latter had destroyed his own manifestation for unprecedented power. This power, it comes from. Evil Moon was also startled. Long Chen shouldn't be this powerful bare-handed. Not good. Just at this moment, Long Chen was already charging over to Dongfang Yuyang. Due to the backlash of the last attack, half his body was nothing more than bones. However, it seemed that he didn't feel any pain. The rage and killing intent inside of him didn't diminish at all after killing the six-horned sea serpent. It only grew. It was like killing him had unlocked the most primitive desire to kill within Long Chen. The darkness within his eyes slowly began to resurface. Just as Long Chen was about to strike Dong Fang Yuyang with his fist, Evil Moon forced itself to appear in Long Chen's hand. Long Chen conveniently swung it at Dong Fang Yuyang. The instant that Long Chen's attention had turned to him, Dongfang Yuyang felt like he had been locked onto by a primordial beast. The surrounding space pressed down on him from all directions. However, the thing that terrified him the most was that his two arms had yet to regrow. His heavenly Tao energy was unable to help them recover. In that instant, it was as if the only things left in this world were him and Long Chen. No one else could help him. Noveloon.com CMA pair of wings appeared on Dongfang Yuyang's back. 
Those were Kanpan wings that then folded in front of him. Next, a pair of stone arms grew out of his shoulders. They quickly formed hand seals, and a giant stone shield rose out of the ground, one after another for a total of 18. At the same time, Dong Fang Yuyang's body began to dissipate. In one go, Dong Fang Yuyang had used the power of the Peng Emperor, the Stone Emperor, and the Blood Emperor. Boom. Long Chen's saber slashed down. The two heaven shrouding wings were the first to explode. Then the 18 stone shields shattered like walls of flour. When the final shield exploded, the black saber image landed on the illusory Dong Fang Yuyang. As a result, Dong Fang Yuyang let out a shriek as he was cut in two. Even then, Dong Fang Yuyang didn't die. Blood Mist tried to connect his two halves as he fled. Split the heavens eight. Long Chen swung Evil Moon vertically, unleashing a black crescent moon at Dong Fang Yuyang. No. Dong Fang Yuyang let out a mournful and unwilling cry. The black crescent moon caught up to Dong Fang Yuyang and blasted him to pieces. Even his Yuan spirit was turned to dust. The manifestation of the three emperors slowly dissipated, merging back into the void. Get down. Yu Zifeng suddenly shouted. Everyone was horrified to find that Long Chen's attack hadn't faded after killing Dong Fang Yuyang, and it was now rushing toward them. The dragon blood warriors hastily ducked. The chilling Saber Chi flew past their heads. The sharp winds cut their cheeks. As for the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples, countless bloody wounds appeared on their bodies. Shocking them, that saber wind had clearly passed hundreds of meters above them, but it still possessed such terrifying power. It struck, all of them would have been turned to dust. Countless giant branches were blown apart as the attack struck the crown of the life spirit god. Almost half of it was lost, stunning everyone. Just what level of power is this? Even the prophet of the Luo spirit race turned pale. That attack had just happened to go right past him. Long Chen. You have to control yourself, roared Evil Moon. Long Chen was being far too wasteful like this. It was unknown if he was startled out of his state by Evil Moon's roar or if he was stunned by his own power. But the darkness within Long Chen's eyes faded once more. The main thing is that I can't control this power. Pfft. Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood. Countless wounds appeared all over his body. Long Chen was badly startled and extracted the energy of the heavenly Killin Demon Trees again to recover. Without them, he would be in no state to keep fighting. The Nine Star Hegemon body art is so strange. When the Black Chi fades, Long Chen's body can't hold on. Evil Moon was shocked inside. Long Chen then turned his attention to Yi Ming. With a deep breath, Long Chen stepped toward him, raising Evil Moon with a beast like roar. Yi Ming was the main culprit. Just now, Long Chen hadn't known what was going on with himself. His head was muddled, and even his memories of killing the six horned sea serpent and Dong Fang Yuyang were vague. He assumed that this was the result of the six star battle armor, which caused him to be unwell. He was unaware that another kind of power was encroaching upon him. Long Chen, I admit that you're very powerful, but you should have reached your limit. We can settle things now. Yi Ming didn't feel much fear even in front of the unprecedentedly powerful Long Chen. Even if I have reached my limit, I have more than enough to kill you, roared Long Chen, slashing Evil Moon down. Long Chen felt like there was a volcano within his body. Currently, that volcano had yet to erupt, and he was currently poking holes in it. Despite just being small holes, the power that gushed out threatened to explode his body. His body could not endure the impact of this power. Every attack brought with it a backlash and immense pain. Even the heavenly Killin Demon Trees were unable to fully keep up. Despite appearing fully recovered on the surface, many internal wounds were starting to accumulate in his body. Those internal wounds weakened him and reduced the power that he could unleash. The slightest misjudgment of how much power he could draw out could mean death for him. The six-star battle armor's power was too terrifying. Compared to it, Long Chen was minuscule. Trying to control its power was like dancing on the tip of a blade. Yi Ming unleashed a punch to receive Long Chen's slash. As a result, a powerful explosion caused countless fragments of spastime to fly through the air. The heaven devouring Fiend King's arm exploded, while Long Chen was also blown back, hacking up blood. This Fiend King was a terrifying existence that had fought against the Dragon King to the death. However, 
Even though its physical body had reached that level, it could not endure Long Chen's power. Long Chen attacked once more, striking with even greater power. Boom. The other arm of the Fiend King also exploded. Die. Long Chen raised Evil Moon again, but now all the heavenly kill and demon trees had withered. All their life energy had been used up. You're the one who's going to die. As long as I block this one attack, you won't have another chance. Ha ha ha. Long Chen. You really are foolish. I can easily see through your intentions. Heaven devouring blood gathering. Unending life. Yi Ming laughed. And the black armor cores in the surroundings instantly withered and fell to the ground. Turning to Mush. This is. No one had expected Yi Ming to have such a trick. He was absorbing the black armor cores life energy for himself. In an instant. The endless black armor cores vanished. Yi Ming's arms grew back and a beast-like pattern appeared on them. Kill an heavenly arm. Yi Ming suddenly stamped down on the ground and unleashed a powerful punch. Boom. A blinding light erupted in the sky. It was like a star had exploded. This explosion was the strongest one since the battle had started, causing the entire world to shudder. Long Chen shot back like a shooting star, creating a giant ditch in the ground. In that instant, Long Chen's aura vanished. When the light faded, it revealed the Fiend King still standing in the sky. One of its new arms was blown away. Even after absorbing the Black Armor Core's life energy, Yi Ming had been forced to sacrifice an arm. Ha ha ha. To think that you'd also end up like this one day. Even though you're dead, I won't let you off. The direction Long Chen was shot toward just so happened to be in front of Jarishan. He laughed and charged over in search of Long Chen's corpse. Suddenly. An icy black weapon stabbed through his chest. Long Chen appeared out of the hole, holding Evil Moon. You perfectly embody the expression play stupid games, win stupid prizes, said Long Chen, looking at Jarishan's terrified expression. When the Luo spirit ray saw that two emerald leaves had appeared on Long Chen's back, they suddenly cheered and knelt on the ground, tears overflowing from their eyes. Mother Tree Chapter 2530 Guo Ran happily obtains a cornucopia Two emerald leaves appeared on Long Chen's back. They were glistening with dew and filled with thrumming life energy. They were like wings. And when they spread, lines of vitality automatically fell from them. In their presence, the wrecked land began to give birth to countless shoots. And even barren rocks instantly sprouted greenery. What dense life energy! Both Chu Yao and Lu Ruian cried out at the same time. Even as wood element cultivators, they had never witnessed such life energy. The soft shoots that were breaking out of the ground were not seeds that had been germinated but shattered fragments of seeds. Things that could be considered nothing more than the dust of heaven and earth. But they had been activated by those green leaves. Lifeless dust had actually awakened into a wave of greenery. One seed after another was stabbing roots into hard soil. Everyone stared in shock at Long Chen. Most of them were unaware of just how dire his state had been at the very end. He was not actually capable of using the full power of the six-star battle armor and was only able to utilize a tiny fraction of its power. However, just now, Yi Ming's power had tried to charge into the six stars, provoking them. As a result, world-destroying power had erupted out of them. If that power had been allowed to erupt, Long Chen's body would have been blasted to bits. The explosion might have even destroyed the entire Starfield Divine World. Just as he was about to explode, a drop of life energy fell from one of the tree's roots and onto Long Chen. Long Chen's body, which had been on the verge of collapse, instantly recovered. The power of the six stars in a berserk state also calmed down gradually. The emerald leaves on his back were filled with endless life energy. Long Chen could feel it healing all his internal wounds and filling him with energy. As for Jarishan, he had charged over just at that time. He wanted Long Chen's corpse. As for whether it was due to his anger or if he was just acting, no one knew. Everyone wanted Long Chen's secrets. Just what was he relying on to go from an ordinary fellow to his current level? Whether it was greed or rage, that had resulted in Jarishan throwing himself onto a path of death. Before he could find Long Chen's corpse, Long Chen found him. He had thought that even if Long Chen wasn't dead, he would be on his last breath. In his carelessness, Long Chen stabbed him through the heart. The leaves on Long Chen's back pulsed with a gentle light that filled this bloodthirsty and violent world. 
dyeing it a peaceful color. The Luo spirit race's experts all knelt and wept upon seeing that pair of leaves. Even the prophet was no exception. They were far too familiar with that aura. It was the most primal summons from the depths of their souls. The mother tree had her own spirit, and she had used her energy to help Long Chen. They were finally about to reclaim their home. Jarishan twisted on Evil Moon, trying to escape. However, sharp cracking sounds rang out instead. He was unable to escape. If it was before, Jarishan could easily have caused his body to split apart. After all, he had an undying body. As long as his energy didn't run out, he would never die. However, Long Chen had activated the six-star battle armor. With the increase in his power, Evil Moon's power also soared. Hence, it was like there were hooks throughout Jarishan's entire body, and he was unable to escape. Jarishan panicked. Last time, he had also fallen into Long Chen's hands, but he had always thought that it was because he had been too careless. As long as he was careful, Long Chen wouldn't have another chance to catch him. However, now he had fallen into Long Chen's hands once more. Thinking of how Long Chen had just killed the Six Horned Sea Serpent and Dong Fang Yuang with three emperor manifestations, he felt fear. Feng Fei, save me, shouted Jarishan. He knew begging or threatening Long Chen was useless. Feng Fei's expression was complicated. She finally sighed. Long Chen, release Jarishan. You've won this time. Long Chen raised his head and laughed disdainfully. How laughable. Do you think that this is a game? Long Chen, I know you're very angry, but I hope you won't get lost in that anger. If you kill Jarishan, the Zhao family of the Divine Families will hunt you down with their full power. The Martial Heaven Continent is only so big. Where will you run to? Are you going to implicate all the people beside you and get them killed as well? Implored Feng Fei. Evil Moon suddenly shook and a scream rang out. A-H-H-H. -H -H. Jarishan suddenly became covered by black light from Evil Moon. His body shrank. Evil Moon was actually compressing him, giving him endless pain. This was a pain he had never experienced before. It was like someone was skinning him. If you want to kill me, then come. I no longer care. I've had enough of you arrogant idiots. Starting today, I will not take a single step back for anyone. If you have the gods, come at me. But if you can't kill me, get ready to be killed by me, said Long Chen darkly. Long Chen hadn't wanted to offend the divine families. They were so powerful that he could only look up to them. To be enemies with them was the peak of foolishness. However, the divine family's people had gone too far. Long Chen's restraint had only brought him humiliation and a mass of killers. Long Chen was filled with fury, which stemmed from his own weakness. He needed time to grow, but his enemies weren't giving him any time. The more he tried to be accommodating, the more some people liked to press him for more. Restraint only made others think that you were afraid of them. Since you were afraid, it would be easy to bully you. Long Chen had had enough. Today, he would become mortal enemies with the Divine Families. Weren't the Divine Families very amazing? Didn't they think everyone had to listen to them? Today, he would show them that he wasn't afraid of the Divine Families. A-H-H. Long Chen, please, release me. I'm going to die, wailed Jarishan. Black Chi continued to surge out of Evil Moon, and black spots began to appear over Jarishan's body. Those black spots gradually turned to bone and large chunks of them began to fall out of Jarishan. With every piece that fell out of him, Jarishan screamed in pain. Long Chen, do you really not care about the consequences? Shouted Feng Fei. Consequences? Did you think about the consequences when you targeted me? When you killed the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance? Did you ever think about the consequences? Since you didn't, why should I? I want to kill Jarishan. Even if a sovereign came. They wouldn't be able to stop me, sneered Long Chen. Evil Moon's black chi continued to grow denser. Jarishan's screams were chilling. Feng Fei turned ashen. She didn't have the slightest way to force Long Chen to stop. She knew that once Long Chen killed Jarishan, the Martial Heaven Continent would be thrown into chaos. Jarishan's screams finally began to fade as he shrank down into a one football. Even with him on the verge of death, Feng Fei didn't know what to do to stop it. Boss, about that, I know you're very angry, but, at this moment, Guo Ran suddenly stepped forward, 
looking at Long Chen hesitatingly. If you have a fart to say, say it, barked Long Chen. This made Guo Ran relax. Before this, Long Chen's aura had truly grown foreign to him, making him not dare to speak. But now he knew that this was the boss he was familiar with. Well, I want to ask you not to kill him for now, said Guo Ran with a fawning smile. This request startled everyone. Guo Ran was pleading for leniency for Jarishan? You want him? Long Chen was startled but then thought of something. Yes. You also know that the Dragon Blood Legion is a big business that requires plenty of resources. Good steel should be used on the edge of the blade. He, boss, I'm sure you understand, said Guo Ran. Long Chen instantly realized what he wanted. Can you handle him, boss? Don't worry, from the moment I saw him, I already started discussing a method with Xia Chen. Take a look. Guo Ran took out his forging table. This forging table from an ancient tomb had always been with Guo Ran and had countless uses. At this moment, a furnace on the forging table opened up. Looking at it, Long Chen hesitated but then tossed the shrunken Jarishan inside. The forging table shrank down into Guo Ran's hand. He immediately began to laugh. We're rich. We're rich. They were truly rich now. There were countless precious ore deposits in the wild world that the original devil race had found. However, they had never managed to fully excavate it. As long as they tossed Jarishan inside, they could force him to gather those precious metals and become an endless cornucopia of precious metals. They now had a limitless stock of immortal and divine metal. It was only due to this point that Long Chen had suppressed his desire to kill Jarishan. He trusted Guo Ran and Xia Chen. They could definitely make sure Jarishan had a life worse than death. Killing him was letting him off too easily. Seeing that Long Chen didn't kill Jarishan, Feng Fei relaxed. As long as Jarishan wasn't dead, there was still a chance for things to take a turn for the better. Just at that moment, Long Chen suddenly vanished. At the same time, startled cries rang out. Where's Yi Ming? Chapter 2531 Yi Ming's self-detonation people suddenly noticed that at some point, Yi Ming had vanished. Even the corrupt path's disciples were curiously gone boom a black saber sliced through the void, revealing countless figures who had been hidden inside. Amongst the blood, people saw one figure in particular, Yi Ming. People were shocked to find that Yi Ming had actually brought the corrupt path's disciples away, hiding them within the void without anyone noticing Long Chen sneered as he slashed his saber at Yi Ming. You want to leave? Are you dreaming? Boom Yi Ming's other arm exploded. At the same time, a wild chi wave exploded. No, the corrupt disciples instantly despaired in front of that wild chi wave. Those disciples appeared incredibly weak and were instantly devoured. Just like the sea demon race, the corrupt path's disciples were wiped out. Long Chen, I'll go all out against you. Yi Ming roared. Scales lit up all over his body, and his aura began to climb rapidly. Long Chen was startled. This was clearly the sign of self-detonation, but this was too fast. He hadn't forced him to this extent yet boom it was like a star had exploded. There was no time to get out of the way, and surging chi waves crashed over Long Chen. Not good. Long Chen suddenly realized that what Ji Ming had detonated was not his own body but the corpse of the heaven-devouring fiend king. His true body definitely had a way to escape bang Long Chen was sent flying. Fortunately. The green leaves behind him folded around him, protecting him as he smashed a giant hole into the ground. Long Chen, Boss, Meng Chi, Guo Ran, and the others immediately flew over. But they were comforted to see that Long Chen was wrapped by the green leaves. The leaves crumbled, revealing Long Chen. He was safe. However, the power of the detonation of the heaven devouring Fiend King's corpse had truly been shocking the Dragon Blood Legion and the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples cheered upon seeing Long Chen safe and sound. That bastard Yi Ming, he actually wanted to drag the boss down with him. He should be thrown into a furnace that could burn his soul for eternity, said Guo Ran hatefully. Yi Ming's schemes came one after another. If Long Chen wasn't strong enough, they all would have been killed. There might still be a chance to do that in the future, said Long Chen. Eh? Boss, you mean he's still alive? Asked Guo Ran. Someone as crafty as him wouldn't die like this. Seeing that there was no hope, he didn't even bother trying. He gave up on bringing the heaven-devouring fiend king's corpse with him. 
Sai Long Chen is expected of an existence that could become a god. Ignoring his actual combat power, his scheming ability was something that few people could match. Boss, the others are retreating. Should we chase them? Gu Yang suddenly noticed that the Divine Families, the Ancient Family Alliance, and Pill Valley's disciples were fleeing. Let them go, said Long Chen after a moment's hesitation. Boss, now is the best time to kill them. Once we returned to the Martial Heaven Continent said Gu Yang he meant that they should kill the Pill Fairy, Feng Fei, and the others now. He had the support of the Mother Tree right now, as well as the assistance of the Luo Spirit Race. Killing them all was not out of the realm of possibility in that scenario. The entire Martial Heaven Continent's junior generation would only be them. The others would be dead and unable to say anything. Let them go, said Long Chen. Killing them all to silence them was impossible. Ignoring whether or not some people could escape, there was no way Long Chen could do that to the 8th Heavenly Dragon Legion. All right, since Long Chen refused to give the order, everyone only stood there, allowing Feng Fei and the Pill Fairy to bring their people away. As for the Luo Spirit Race's warriors, they were ignoring everything else. They were still too excited by the return to the Mother Tree this giant battlefield was in ruins. Countless corpses littered the ground, and blood stained the ground red however, a wave of green grass spread, absorbing the corpses and blood to give birth to new life in the distance. The Pill Fairy looked back at Long Chen before she vanished. Pill Valley had taken heavy losses as half their elites had died as for the Divine Families. Their losses were no better. A million of their disciples had their lives buried here, and Jarishan had fallen into Long Chen's hands. As a result, Feng Fei's expression was extremely ugly. She didn't know how she was supposed to explain things when she got back most importantly. They had made a fatal mistake this time. It was something even she couldn't bear the responsibility for. So her emotions were extremely complicated. When she looked at the distant Long Chen, she felt a touch of fear this man that she hadn't even placed in her eyes at first now possessed the power to terrify the entire world. She had truly made a grave misjudgment Feng Fei brought the Divine Family's disciples away. Millions of disciples had fought on this battlefield. Those that could leave were now leaving, and those that couldn't would forever rest here perhaps they would still live in the dreams of their families. But when the news spread, it was unknown how many people would be unable to accept this cruel reality the Dragonblood Legion and the Martial Heaven Alliance had won. But this victory was mirrored by heavy losses. Their joy at victory was quickly replaced by anger and hatred, as well as endless pain the Martial Heaven Alliance and the Xuan Beasts had lost over 300,000 of their disciples. Those brothers and sisters would never be returning, so some people couldn't help but saw the current Martial Heaven Alliance was like a solid brick. Every one of the disciples felt a close tie to each other. Now that so many of them had died, they were forever parted by the veil between life and death. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, why did you let them go? Why not kill them as vengeance for our brothers and sisters? Suddenly, a person cried out, her voice hoarse with pain. King Kiu, Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen definitely has his reasons. Someone pulled her back, trying to comfort her suddenly. The leaves on Long Chen's back vanished and blood spurted out of Long Chen's body. Countless wounds split open. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, Everyone cried out in shock Long Chen waved his hand. It's not that I didn't want to, but that I couldn't or I would have been exposed. If Yi Ming was hiding and hadn't left yet, he would return and fight us. Then we would be the ones to suffer. Long Chen's body had long since reached the point of breaking down. The mother tree's energy had been supporting him, but without it, he instantly lost his ability to fight. Sorry, senior apprentice brother Long. I was wrong. I. The disciple that had cried out immediately felt lost. Long Chen. Just at that moment, more cracks spread all over Long Chen's body. Chu Yao and Lu Ruian immediately sent their life energy pouring into Long Chen's body however. They were shocked to find that their life energy was nothing more than a cup of water on a burning cart. Long Chen's body was fracturing too fast for them to stop. Chu Yao began to panic just at that moment. A branch reached out and touched Long Chen's back. Vast life energy poured into his body, stopping the cracking although it wasn't a complete recovery. At least he was no longer gushing blood. A bit of luster returned to his eyes. 
Many thanks. Long Chen nodded toward the prophet who was walking over the prophet suddenly knelt down, his left hand holding his right shoulder in an extremely ancient and solemn etiquette. Respected prophesied son, you are the god of the Luo spirit race. Please accept our worship. Just like that, all the Luo spirit race's warriors, male and female, knelt on the ground toward him. Senior, I cannot accept. You're cutting my lifespan like this. I still want to live a few more years. Long Chen tried to stop the prophet, reaching out to pull him up, but the prophet's figure retreated a few steps without changing posture. The prophet repeated the ancient rite nine times before standing. He was about to speak when rumbling rang out. The prophet's expression changed. Everyone looked up to see that the withered mother tree was beginning to fracture. Mother tree, you. The prophet stared at the mother tree. Forlorn, the mother tree gave her final life energy to me. Side Long Chen, the mother tree is the root of our souls. Is she going to fade away like this? The prophet was filled with pain. His previous joy vanished they had just reclaimed their home. But now it was about to collapse. No, I might have a way, said Long Chen. You, the prophet immediately perked back up. Long Chen slowly stood and walked over. He then returned the final bit of energy the mother tree was feeding him. Although his body almost shattered, this allowed the mother tree to keep the slightest seed of vitality as long as this seed was activated. The mother tree could be revived. Long Chen then walked up to the mother tree and slowly formed seals in front of the giant hole in front of him. The space behind Long Chen split open, and a torrent of yellow soil poured into the hole. Chapter 2532 Mother God A soil poured into the giant hole and covered the giant tree's roots. A strange phenomenon occurred. The giant tree ceased fracturing, and its wound slowly healed. The primal chaos beat has never disappointed me. Seeing that the soil of the primal chaos space was effective on the mother tree, Long Chen relaxed. The primal chaos beat was truly miraculous. The Luo spirit race's warriors unleashed a heaven shaking roar upon seeing the mother tree suddenly start recovering. More tears flowed out. Big brother Long Chen, you're amazing. Suddenly, a person ran over excitedly when Long Chen saw her. He jumped. Chi Li, didn't you? Long Chen had clearly seen her die. But now she had reappeared. The life spirit God saved me. He. I've now been bestowed the position of divine envoy. You are our God. So I am your humble servant. Exclaimed Chi Li. There's me too. La Wei ran over. Just as excitedly. This foolish fellow was smiling brightly. La Wei had also gone crazy when he had seen Chi Li die. He had charged over. Resulting in him almost being torn apart by the black armor cores it was the life god tree who had stretched out a root and pulled her back from the death god's hands. She woke just in time to see La Wei going crazy for her although he had many faults. He was willing to sacrifice his life for her. Those flaws were covered up by that moment Ki Li held La Wei's hand. She respectfully said, in the future, the two of us will be big brother Long Chen's servants. We will carry out your divine edicts. My divine edicts. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. He was no god. Without the mother tree, he would have been the one to die here. What world would have such a weak god as him? Li Chi didn't want to disturb Long Chen. So she pulled La Wei over to Meng Chi and the others to introduce themselves. Now her status was different. As the divine envoy, she had to form a good relationship between the Luo spirit race and Long Chen's side. Ki Li quickly started chatting away with Meng Chi and the others. But when La Wei arrived in front of Gu Yang and the others, he didn't know what to say. Wild in particular was a nerve wracking sight. He was constantly popping meat into his mouth like a ferocious beast. It felt like a touch from him could accidentally crush La Wei. La Wei's mouth moved repeatedly, other than putting on a smile that looked as ugly as crying. He couldn't say a word Gu Yang laughed and clapped his shoulder. Someone who fights alongside us in battle is a brother. If you don't know what to say, then don't say anything. Once we get closer, we can drink together. Suddenly, Wild collapsed, causing everyone to jump. Men Chi immediately ran over and examined him. He's fine. He used up too much energy so he has entered a self-preserving state. After sleeping a while, he'll be able to keep eating. Wilde had used up an enormous amount of energy during this time, as he had been fighting Jarishan all on his own. Considering that the latter was a sovereign sprout, 
Wild's power was truly astounding after that. Several Dragonblood warriors carried Wild away to a comfortable place for him to sleep. He would probably be asleep for a few days. They were used to it meanwhile. Long Chen was still busy pouring the primal chaos space's soil into the giant hole. The withered tree was finally showing a bit of vitality. Thank you. Suddenly, a mental transmission entered Long Chen's mind. Long Chen was far too familiar with its aura, as he had been blessed by its power. It was the mother tree. You can stop. Nine star air. My life seed has germinated. So my life is no longer in danger. The voice rang out in his mind once more, filled with gratitude as well as respect. Don't worry, I have plenty of soil. If it can help you, I don't mind, said Long Chen as long as he circulated his spiritual yuan. He could replenish more of the primal chaos space's soil. Furthermore, considering its size, filling even a 10,000 mile hole was no problem other than that. He also felt that considering the mother tree's ancient existence, perhaps it knew many things. He would like to create a good relationship with it suddenly. A root broke out of the soil and coiled around Long Chen's feet. Dense life energy poured into Long Chen's body before this. The mother tree's power had been limited, and it had only been able to suppress Long Chen's injuries. However, now its life energy began to truly heal them. Its energy was many times greater than the life spirit god. I wonder if the mother tree's branch can be transplanted into the primal chaos space? If I could grow such a giant tree, I'd also have an undying body. Long Chen couldn't help being moved although Long Chen hadn't expressed it. He was quite envious of Jarishan's undying body. Even Lu Ruyan's undying body was something he wished he had if he could raise a powerful companion like the mother tree. Other than someone blasting him apart in one blow, he would also have an undying body. Eh? The primal chaos space's soil hasn't dropped at all. Long Chen suddenly realized that the soil level inside the primal chaos space was not falling. He had expected it to fall at least a few feet to fill this hole. When he looked more closely, he found that even as he took out the soil, more appeared automatically. When did it gain this ability? Is it related to the six-star battle armor? Long Chen was startled to notice this change the primal chaos space hadn't grown. But its aura seemed to be a bit different than before. However, he was unable to say what part was different he continued bringing out more soil. Countless roots absorbed its energy, and the mother tree's branches suddenly began to glow, releasing an emerald light. It no longer had its sickly appearance tender bud slowly appeared on top of its withered branches, and the Luo spirit race's warriors began to chant something. It seemed to be some ceremonial right light fell from the mother tree, bathing the Luo spirit race's disciples. Their expressions were of fierce piety even the Martial Heaven Alliance and the Xuan Beast's disciples were bathed in this light. They felt like they were immersed in warm sunlight. Their bodies relaxed, and their pores automatically opened, absorbing the surrounding life key the pain, sorrow, anger, and other emotions of battle faded. It felt as if they had returned to the embrace of their mothers. It was warm and comfortable as for Long Chen. He could clearly feel his injuries healing. His body that had been on the verge of collapse was returning from the brink those injuries were no ordinary wounds. They weren't just wounds of the body but could be considered Dao wounds the activation of the six star battle armor had caused a serious backlash. The six star battle armor had the power to suppress all other Deos. But just because those Deos were suppressed didn't mean that they wouldn't bite back this kind of situation hadn't occurred with the five star battle armor. Long Chen guessed that it was because the six-star battle armor that he had summoned was not the complete version, resulting in this kind of Dao wound perhaps when he could fully control the six-star battle armor. This kind of backlash would no longer occur. His forceful activation of the six-star battle armor still had him feeling fear. The power of the six-star battle armor was truly terrifying. It was not something he could control. It was like a giant reservoir, and he had only opened a small hole. He was barely able to control that small hole if that hole had grown any larger. The entire dam might collapse, and this entire world might be destroyed. Long Chen could clearly sense that condensing the sixth star was not as simple as he had thought. Although it seemed that he had condensed the six stars, it also felt like they had already existed long before that. They had inestimable power. Long Chen had never been able to figure out their power. 
He understood far too little about the nine-star hegemon body art, but this time he had learned just how terrifying it was as chaotic thoughts whirled around in his head. Long Chen suddenly realized that the hole had long since been filled up. The mother tree was filled with vitality, and countless green leaves bloomed in the sky. Stars twinkled amongst the leaves Long Chen finally stopped adding in more soil. Seeing this giant tree filled with vitality, a roar came from deep within him. I also need to get such a tree. Suddenly, a figure appeared before him. The Luo Spirit Race's disciples exclaimed, Mother God, Chapter 2533 A warrior can be killed, but not humiliated The Mother God was a slender young woman in a leaf green dress. How beautiful Tang Wan'er and the others stared in amazement. This woman gave off a feeling that they had never seen before. It was a gentleness that could infect a person's soul. Her beauty contained a warmth others did not possess, and her light green eyes contained a certain look, as if she had seen worlds be born, grow, age, and die. A green ripple appeared on the earth with every step she took. It was as if she was a primordial elf born at the same time as the first tree. Her beauty was not just in her appearance but also the warmth of her soul. Anyone looking at her would feel an involuntary closeness to her. They would even feel willing to entrust their lives to her. The Luo spirit race's experts knelt on the ground, piously calling her name. This woman was the Luo spirit race's mother god, respected nine-star heir. Thank you for your favor. Ling Shi will represent the Luo spirit race in revering you as a god for as long as our race exists. We will listen to your guidance. The women bowed to Long Chen. Senior. Ah. Long Chen didn't know how to respond. This person was the god of the Luo spirit race, and she was acting so deferentially to him that he felt unnatural. Please, call me Ling Shi, said the woman cough. All right, then, Ling Shi, I should be the one thanking you. When I was in trouble, the Luo spirit race saved me. Without the Luo spirit race, I might already be dead. The favor of a drop of water in need must be repaid with a gushing spring, let alone the favor of saving my life. Furthermore, we were already mortal enemies with Yi Ming and the Divine Families before this. You have no need to thank us. We must thank you instead for saving us, said Long Chen. The reason Long Chen had ended up chasing them to the Mother Tree was because Yi Ming had set up his trap this way. They didn't do this to save the Mother Tree, and they didn't risk their lives for the Luo Spirit Race. They had to stop Yi Ming from recovering the Heaven Devouring Fiend King's full power. He had only done all this to protect himself. Even without seeing Chi Li be killed, he would have taken the risk of activating the six-star battle armor fighting for his life had now been taken as a huge favor by the Luo spirit race. Despite how thick Long Chen's skin was, he couldn't accept it. Nine-star air, you. Ling Shi smiled. You can call me Long Chen instead. To tell the truth, I'm not a good person. So you don't need to be so respectful to me. I'll feel guilty otherwise said Long Chen Meng Chi and the others exchanged a smile. Long Chen truly had never gotten accustomed to talking so solemnly. He would rather laugh and joke around the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance had seen countless so-called geniuses but had not encountered someone like Long Chen. He was dauntless in the face of powerful enemies. That kind of fearless courage was extremely admirable, but normally he didn't put on airs, nor did he act icily arrogant like others. Even facing those weaker than him, he didn't go out of his way to express his superiority in their eyes. This was a true expert worthy of following, rather than someone who had to trample over other people's dignity to show how different they were. This kind conduct was what made them feel heartfelt respect. His pride did not need others to back it up. All right, Senior Long Chen. Actually, I'm not older than you, so you can just call me Long Chen. Ha ha ha. Everyone laughed, while Meng Chi and the others shook their heads. Long Chen really made people speechless, but he was correct. He truly couldn't compare to the mother tree who had lived for countless years. This laughter lightened the sorrow they were feeling inside. Ling Shi stared blankly, seemingly not understanding why people were laughing. She awkwardly said, Perhaps I am not able to communicate properly with you, so I will have Chi Li take my place. I will return to the mother tree. It will take some time to fully activate the life god source, so I won't accompany you any longer. Ling Shi bowed to Long Chen once more before fading Long Chen stared awkwardly. Is she angry? He, 
No, the mother god doesn't like talking to others. She normally only communicates using mental messages. But that would be rude to someone like you. So she came out herself. To tell the truth, it is said that she has never revealed her true form before. We've all benefited from you. Chi Li laughed. You have to call him Senior Long Chen, or it would be rude to the god. Reminded La Wei. HMPH. I don't need your reminder, said Chi Li stubbornly. Long Chen hastily said, You can just call me Big Brother Long Chen. That makes us seem closer, and we don't need to feel so guarded when talking. Do you see? You don't even know how to analyze the god's thoughts. How can you be the god's emissary? snorted Chi Li at La Wei. He just needs to analyze your thoughts and that will be enough, said Long Chen with a smile. Turning to everyone, he said, let's all rest here. Everyone's exhausted from the battle. This battle had truly been tense. They had been on the edge of death the entire time, and the appearance of the endless black armor course had truly brought them immense pressure with the order to rest. Many people directly fell asleep on the ground. Theoretically, cultivators didn't need to sleep. But due to the sudden relaxation of their tense nerves, the best thing for their recovery was to return to the most primitive state of sleeping. The battle report quickly came in. Over 300,000 of their disciples had died. As for the Dragonblood Legion, they had also suffered 17 casualties. There was no way around it. In such a terrifying battle, they could not maintain zero losses. The Dragonblood warriors were silent when they heard that. 17 losses. That was not a number, that represented 17 life and death brothers that were gone forever. Boss, it's my fault. My directions Xia Chen shook his head Long Chen waved his hand. Don't say anything foolish like blaming yourselves. We entrust our lives to each other. There were no mistakes in our battle. We are the strongest Legion, and there is no need to doubt our power. It is simply that we had far too many enemies this time. Without you. The Dragonblood Legion would have taken far more losses. I'm sure those fallen brothers don't blame you, but they'll be disappointed if you feel guilty over it. Xia Chen nodded and clenched his fists. He didn't say anything else. They had been surrounded from the start and pincered over and over again. There had even been a shameless opponent like Jarishan launching sneak attacks and breaking into their formation although that couldn't be blamed on Xia Chen. He still felt like he hadn't done enough. He would further study and improve his formations in the future. It's also our equipment that can't keep up with us any longer. If it weren't for Jarishan, they wouldn't have died, said Guo Ran hatefully. As he said this, he smashed a hammer on his forging table, causing everyone to jump. Ah, a scream came from the forging table. Countless fragments of gold and immortal metal flew out everyone stared. That was Jarishan's voice. He was trapped in the forging table but his scream was quite healthy. Before this, he had been on his last breath. Guo Ran repeatedly smashed his hammer, causing more and more fragments of immortal metal to fly out. They quickly piled up. What's going on? Asked Long Chen. He, this dog shit Jarishan. I put the immortal metals and ores that I gathered into the forging table on purpose. As expected, he secretly absorbed them to recover. Now I'm making him spit out what he ate. This is saving me quite a bit of time purifying and refining the ores. Here, brothers, if you want to vent, you can try it too. Take the hammer and smash out the immortal metal. It's like extracting juice, but it also brings him a lot of pain. It's very satisfying. Anyone want to try it? Guo Ran put his hammer down. It had to be noted that Guo Ran had previously said that a forging master would not allow others to touch their forging table or hammer. But this time, Guo Ran was breaking that rule for everyone. It's that great. Long Chen stepped forward, but he was too late. Someone else had taken the hammer. Dog shit Jarishan. So such a day has come for you. A-H-H. Jarishan's screams rang out as people repeatedly hammered him. Worried about the disturbance. Xia Chen set up a barrier to prevent the noise from spreading. Jarishan's screams were like music in their ears. Long Chen. You bastard. A warrior can be killed but not humiliated. Ah, if you have the gods, then just kill me. Jarishan's voice rang out, filled with hatred. The response was another strike of the hammer. Chapter 2534 Resolving hatred bang with every strike of the hammer. Metallic fragments flew out. 
Those fragments varied from about the size of a thumb to a single grain of cereal. Is this really fun? How do you play? Mo Nian took up the hammer and struck a few times. Jarishan screamed with every strike, delighting Mo Nian. He started to smash more and more. Stop, stop, stop. Suddenly, Guo Ran cried out. Mo Nian had struck too much. Fewer and fewer fragments were flying out, and the final two strikes didn't even produce a sound from Jarishan. You can't keep hitting, or he'll die. Then my precious cornucopia will be gone. Guo Ran hastily put away the forging table. Sensing Jarishan's weak aura, he relaxed. It's a good thing this fellow's quite tough. He won't die so easily. Nice job, Guo Ran. This forging table of yours actually has such a use. Mo Nian looked at the forging table curiously even Long Chen was quite surprised by this. Guo Ran explained. This forging table actually has many runes that I haven't managed to figure out. Xia Chen has helped me out quite a bit. Recently, I found a space within it for breaking down immortal metal. Most likely, it's for the shattered remnants of divine items. But the runes are incomprehensible to me, so it's not too useful. Currently, it can only break down already smelted divine items, and not break them down directly. It's a laborious task to smelt down weapons, so I haven't really used this space much. But as soon as I saw Jarishan, I thought of throwing him inside, using him as a chicken to lay eggs. And the result, ha ha ha, Guo Ran laughed, very pleased with himself. This grand aspiration of his had been achieved, but if he doesn't have any more ores to absorb, won't the eggs stop coming? Asked Gu Yang Guo Ran had exposed his plan to Jarishan. If Jarishan refused to absorb more immortal metal, wouldn't it be useless? Xia Chen shook his head. With Jarishan trapped inside, it's not up to him. I managed to learn some more about the runes in that decomposition space. Some of them are gathering runes that I've seen before. My best hypothesis is that the forging table itself might be able to gather, refine, and smelt items all on its own. But the runes are too ancient for us to know how to activate them. Moreover, there are some parts of the forging table that seem incomplete. When Jarishan tried to sneakily absorb the metals, I noticed that he could be controlled within the forging table. Let me show you something. Guo Ran. Take out the immortal metal ores. Guo Ran summoned piles of ores. They were the most primitive ores that had yet to be refined in any way. Xia Chen patted the forging table a few times. He then took out two palm-sized formation discs and placed them on top of the forging table. After that, one particular part of the forging table lit up, its runes activating following that. The ores began to glow, and the light from the ores poured into the forging table. They were entering an iron bucket within the forging table in the end. Those ores turned dim and shattered falling apart like mud in just a few breaths. Those piles of ore were completely absorbed and turned into trash. How strange. If Jarishan has absorbed the ores, why hasn't his aura changed? Said Gu Yang Bang Guo Ran smashed his hammer on the forging table, and Jarishan's scream immediately rang out. Everyone laughed. You wretches. You won't have good deaths. Just wait. The Zhao family will not let you off. You'll definitely Jarishan cursed furiously. The sounds of his curses made everyone smile brighter they all felt admiration for Guo Ran. Every existence had its counter, and Jarishan was perfectly countered by Guo Ran's forging table. Boss, you can busy yourself. I have some work of my own to do. I'm going to turn all the ores I have into real metal. Then I'll go out looking for metal for Jarishan. My goal isn't big. I just want to extract all the Starfield Divine World's immortal metal to create the best equipment for the Dragonblood Warriors. That's the only way to make it up to our fallen brothers, said Guo Ran. That's a good idea. I'm at ease with your display. But don't just play around yourself. There are quite a few people who hate him outside. Let them vent and hear his screams as well, said Long Chen. You little fuckers. Sharishan heard it all and cursed. He a sovereign sprout of the divine families, was being treated as a tool for gathering metal and venting anger. He practically died from rage. Sharishan was once more answered by a flurry of hammer blows. Fragments of metal flew through the air. Guo Ran and Xia Chen went to find a quiet place to purify their ores. With Jarishan, those ores were quickly purified, and to an extremely high degree at that however, many people followed them. 
saying that they wanted to help, when in reality they wanted to get a few smacks in as well. Hearing Jarishan's screams, even Lu Zongying ran over Mo Nian was going to follow Lu Zongying when Long Chen grabbed him. Can you grow up a bit? You're going to fight with them over this chance. Don't I have nothing better to do? You already stole the spotlight and are now the god of the Luo spirit race. I didn't get anything. Mo Nian shrugged with a strange flavor. That nonsense isn't important. How were the losses of your Mo Gate? Asked Long Chen. We're all archers, and we had your people's protection. Some of us were injured, but there were no casualties, said Mo Nian. Mo Gate's disciples specialized in long range attacks, so the Dragon Blood Legion and the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples had taken care to look after them keeping them at the center so they could unleash their attacks to help areas that needed it the most. Brother Long, just at this moment, Hu Feng walked over, apologetically saying, I'm truly ashamed. My luck was terrible this time. The heavenly fate die actually summoned a low-low-grade beast. I wasn't able to help at all. What's a low-low-grade beast? Asked Long Chen and Mo Nian. Ah, it's not worth explaining. I wasn't able to help this time but I won't let that happen next time. Brother Long, I'm going to leave now. I'm going to see if I can test my luck elsewhere. When we return to the Martial Heaven Continent, I will definitely stand by your side, said Hu Fang. He turned and left. He just has to act so mysteriously, snorted Mo Nian A. Where's? Yan Tian asked Long Chen suddenly curious. He didn't even say goodbye. He's another fellow who likes acting mysterious. Muttered Mo Nian the sovereigns are unsolved mysteries. As a sovereign's son, he definitely knows something. I've always felt that the Martial Heaven Continent is hiding many secrets, but no one dares to reveal them, said Long Chen heavily ever since stepping into the cultivation world. The feeling that the Martial Heaven Continent was filled with many secrets grew. He had encountered people like the Wine God Palace's High Priest, the Huaian sects Maruian the Divine Ice Palace's Taoist Heavenly Feather. They all gave him an extremely mysterious feeling he was closest with the High Priest. But the High Priest did not reveal what he knew about many things in the netherworld. Miang Kangayu had said that the Martial Heaven Continent was the core of a star field. After a terrifying battle, it had fractured, leaving only the core. It could be said that the Martial Heaven Continent was just a broken piece of a whole however. The Martial Heaven Continent had gone through many battles throughout its history. Why were there no solid records of this past had those records been lost in the flow of time? Or had someone intentionally destroyed that history? Why was it that the people who knew of it refused to say anything? What was taboo the five sovereigns were mysterious existences. People only knew their names, but concrete things about them and their accomplishments could not be verified as his cultivation base increased. Long Chen came into contact with more and more things. The waters of the Martial Heaven Continent were extremely deep. It was precisely due to this that Long Chen had started to grow cautious. But this cautiousness made others think that he was a coward, resulting in some trying to take advantage of him. Long Chen was filled with fury inside. He hadn't wanted to stand out. He just wanted to secretly develop his and the Dragon Blood Legion's power preserving his own trump cards for any future crisis however, there was always a group of people who refused to let him do as he pleased. They forced him to the brink until he had no choice but to strike back in this kind of situation. Long Chen's full power had been exposed to everyone, while he knew nothing about other people's hidden power. That was the most dangerous state to be in his trump cards were exposed, and others could easily counter them. This feeling was not a good one. But idiots like Jarishan just had to provoke him if Long Chen took one step back. They advanced two steps on him. The rage had only accumulated this entire time what Long Chen needed was time. But his enemies wouldn't give him that time. So what he needed was to find some way to quickly increase his power after chatting a bit with Mo Nian. The shameless Mo Nian said that he wanted to go see his wife. But Long Chen knew that this was an excuse to go see Guo Ran Torment Jarishan Mo Nian currently possessed the power of the Nithurgud Hong Yeo Yang's mortal husk. But he didn't truly inherit Hong Yeo Yang's power instead. He was using Hong Yeo Yang's divine energy to nourish his own energy. His core energy was currently in a transformative state. 
and what he was using to fight was just Hong Yeo Yang's power. Long Chen wanted to ask him what kind of situation he was in and how long it would take him to awaken his power. But that fellow refused to talk about it. Mo Nian had just left when Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, Dong Mingyu, Zi Yan, and the others walked over. Chapter 2535 Also a Sovereign Sprout? Long Chen, are you feeling better? asked Meng Chi concernedly. I'm essentially better. There are still some hidden wounds throughout my body that even Ling Shi wasn't able to deal with. So I'll probably need to rely on myself to heal those, said Long Chen. Ling Shi had helped Long Chen heal the majority of his wounds, but a portion simply would not recover. According to Ling Shi, those wounds were not wounds within the realm of the heavenly deos. They were wounds from another set of laws that did not belong to heaven and earth. She could not do anything for those. Long Chen could only guess that those wounds were from the six-star battle armor. He hadn't met the requirements to activate the six-star battle armor but had forcefully done so anyway. This was the backlash. However, as a nine-star heir, this kind of wound shouldn't be permanent. It should slowly go away over time. Zither Fairy, many thanks for your help this time. Long Chen cupped his fists towards Zi Yan. She had truly saved them. If it weren't for her and Dong Mingyu blocking Feng Fei, it was unknown if they could have even won. Even if they did, they definitely would have taken heavier losses. Zi Yan smiled. Her smile was like a pear blossom blooming, gentle and dignified. I was only standing on the side of righteousness. The elusive music Immortal Palace is a protector of the Martial Heaven continent. We don't just protect the safety of all life on the continent. We also protect proper convictions. Fortunately, we managed to walk along the same path. I remember back when I was hunted down all over by you, sighed Long Chen. Back then, Zi Yan had firmly concluded that he was her devil star and was fated to become a homicidal devil. She had spent all day trying to convert him. At that time, their relationship had been extremely icy, and they had fought multiple times. At some point, Zi Yan seemed to suddenly change and even the attitude of the elusive music Immortal Palace had changed. Although Long Chen had yet to run into the higher-ups of the elusive music Immortal Palace, from Zi Yan's display, it seemed that they didn't have any hostility toward him. Do you even know how to converse? Why bring up something so ancient that has nothing to do with anything anymore? Tang Wan'er glared at Long Chen. Zi Yan was currently getting along quite happily with Meng Chi and the others. Tang Wan'er had even started to view her as being on the same side. Long Chen awkwardly laughed. He then suddenly noticed that Nang Gong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang were gone. Before he could ask, Meng Chi said, the two of them already left. They entrusted you to look after their disciples for now. They can cultivate here while the two of them go in search of their own opportunities. There was still quite some time until they could return to the Martial Heaven continent. Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang wanted to see if they could test their luck. With the two of them together, their safety was without question. As for their disciples, they didn't want them to continue taking the risk, so they stayed here. After such a terrifying battle, cultivators gained a much deeper comprehension into life and death. They could immerse themselves in those gains in preparation for breaking through to the realm above Nether Passage. Big Brother Long Chen I'm going to bring these big sisters to the top of the mother tree to look at our home. Do you want to come? Asked Chi Li. Chi Li was in charge of receiving guests. She had been preparing to bring Meng Chi and the others to the top of the mother tree. And it just so happened that Long Chen was by himself at that moment. So he came along. They all walked over to the main trunk of the mother tree. The Luo spirit race's warriors were gone from the ground. But looking up. They could be seen bustling all over the mother tree. Air streams were rising out of the ground. Without them needing to do anything, they rose through the air. The closer they got to the mother tree, the more boundless they felt its life energy to be. Long Chen knew that all he had done was help the mother tree's injuries. It seemed that the mother tree was absorbing the entire star field divine world's energy for itself. As they rose through the air, they quickly reached the mother tree's branches. From here. They could see far into the distance. They could gaze toward the majority of the star field divine world. You can see so far from here. Tang Wan'er exclaimed in delight. They saw various islands and terrifying walls of fractured space. 
the further they looked, the greater their sense of awe. This place is connected to the Mother God spiritual senses, so as long as it is within the range of the Mother God spiritual strength, you can see it. It is said that when the Mother Tree was in its peak state, the Mother God spiritual strength could envelop the entire star field divine world, explained Chi Li. Chi Li, why do you sometimes say the Mother Tree and sometimes the Mother God? Are there two names? asked Long Chen. At first, he thought it was just a slip of the tongue. The mother tree is the mother tree. The mother god is the mother god. They are two entities with one body. The mother tree is life. The mother god is the soul. The mother tree has its own will. While the mother god is a consciousness that developed from the mother tree's soul, said Chi Li. Or you can say that I was born from the combined faith energy of the Luo spirit race. I am the faith of the Luo spirit race, as well as the one they go to for help. Ling Shi suddenly appeared beside everyone. Mother God, exclaimed Chi Li excitedly. Ling Shi gently rubbed Chi Li's head. The mother tree was born at the same time as the Luo spirit race. Whether the mother tree came first or the Luo spirit race came first, not even the mother tree knows. But the mother tree and the Luo spirit race were not the original inhabitants of this place. As for where we came from, the karma is too heavy to explain to you. We would not wish for the heavenly deos to lock onto it and unleash heavenly punishment. Can I ask if knowing things that you shouldn't know results in the heavenly deos locking onto you? Asked Tang Wan Er. The existence known as karma had always been a muddled existence to her. That depends on what you know. If it is something within the realm of the heavenly deos, it will not threaten the heavenly deos. To use the laws of your martial heaven continent to explain it, it could be considered a nation with its own perfect laws. As long as you act within those laws, you can do anything you want. However, if what you are doing exceeds the scope of those laws, you will be punished. I am not within the same scope as you, so I will not be affected by karma by explaining things to you. But when you return to the martial heaven continent, the karma will fall on you. It might harm you at that time, said Ling Shi. The executor and the judge are both the heavenly deos? Then who controls the heavenly deos? Asked Tang Wan'er like a curious child who wanted to get the root. Ling Shi simply smiled and didn't speak. Long Chen was the one who said, What's important isn't who controls it. The important thing is that the heavenly deos are bigger than us for now. If we want to win, we have to act according to their rules. Unless we can one day overthrow the heavenly deos, we have to make sure to stay within their laws. Ling Shi, am I right? Ling Shi shook her head. My apologies, but I cannot answer you. That would be the same thing as telling you the truth and would still invoke karma. All right. So it seemed that this kind of wordplay also wouldn't work. Long Chen sighed inside. He had thought that going around the topic could get him an answer, but it seemed Ling Shi was quite sensitive to karma. However, based on her words, it seemed that every world's heavenly deos were different, just like every nation in the secular world. Within one nation, one action might be against the laws, but it might be fine in another nation. There were different sets of heavenly deos. Didn't that mean that certain cultivation techniques could be limited by different heavenly deos? For example the nine-star hegemon body art? Condensing the sixth star forcibly had resulted in a major backlash. But if he had condensed it in the martial heaven continent, would the laws have been different, resulting in no backlash? Senior cough. Ling Shi, have you met other nine star heirs? Asked Long Chen. I have. Ling Shi nodded. Can you show me images of them, or maybe scenes of them fighting so I can study? Long Chen started to grow excited. Sorry, but the nine star heirs are not within the scope of the heavenly deos. I cannot display them or their cultivation technique. I have seen them, but as time passes, my memories of them fade away. All I can remember is that I have met them, not only them, you are the same. As time passes, my memory will gradually fade until I cannot even remember a name. I will only know that you existed, said Ling Shi. What? Then what about my wives? If we separate for a year or two, will they not remember me? Asked Long Chen, appalled. Meng Chi and the others also jumped. They had never thought of such a thing. Ling Shi smiled. That will not happen. You come from the same world. So you won't be limited like that. Even people from other worlds will not forget you so quickly. However, if you die, 
Not even your name will be remembered by others. People will remember your divine ring and your identity as a nine-star heir, but that is all. As for why that is, in truth, neither I nor the mother tree knows. Meng Chi and the others looked at Long Chen in shock. Just what kind of existence was a nine-star heir that it only allowed others to remember his status, but nothing about his history? They suddenly thought of the sovereigns. Weren't the sovereigns the same? People only remembered their names and that they had saved the continent. But as for what they had actually done, nothing was remembered. Long Chen, are you also a sovereign sprout? Meng Chi and the others came to a shocking conclusion. Chapter 2536 The Peak of the Mother Tree A Sovereign Sprout? Me. Long Chen laughed. I'll never be able to have the same charisma as the sovereigns, nor will I obtain the entire continent's approval. The past sovereigns were respected by all beings on the continent, and they transcended the barriers between races to unite the entire continent's life forms against their enemies. As for me, I have enemies everywhere. I slaughtered all the disciples of the corrupt path and the sea demon race. Can I hope for them to call me sovereign? This battle had truly been intense. The Martial Heaven Alliance had lost 300,000 disciples. On the other hand, even excluding the heaven devouring black armor cores, the other side had lost almost 3 million disciples. The corrupt path and the sea demon race's disciples had essentially been wiped out. If any of them survived, they must be isolated within secluded places of the Starfield Divine World. Those little fish that hadn't joined in on this battle were very few in number. It doesn't make sense. The sovereigns were able to win over everyone, not just because of their amazing power but also their actions and integrity. I haven't seen other sovereigns, but Sovereign Moli truly gave off a feeling of being unrivaled, and it had nothing to do with his cultivation base. It was purely his charisma. Yun Tian possesses almost the exact same kind of nobility in every one of his movements. So why is it that Ji Ming, Feng Fei, Jia Rishan, and the others wanted to kill him? He's a sovereign's descendant. Even if they don't want to submit to him, they shouldn't be enemies. Right, said Tang Wan'er, frowning. The others were also unclear on this. The sovereigns had saved the Martial Heaven continent repeatedly. Why was it that rather than respecting the sovereigns, they would want to kill one of their descendants. Was it really just due to the competition of the martial path? Was it all just for the shot to become a sovereign? Long Chen shook his head. There are definitely some people who know the answer, but they refuse to say anything. Since that's the case, I can't be bothered. We should just focus on ourselves. As for Yun Tian, he will definitely be standing on our side. Sovereign Yun Chang's descendant can be trusted. Before we leave this place, we should work hard on cultivating so that we can reach the peak as fast as possible in preparation for the realm above Nether Passage. We're still too weak. Within the same generation, there aren't many that can fight us. But whether it is the corrupt path, Pill Valley, or the divine families, they all have a terrifying foundation. They definitely have more than a few experts above Nether Passage. Against experts like that. We don't have the slightest chance of winning. Long Chen had killed the king of the sea demon race and Dong Fang Yuyang, and they had captured Jarishan. Perhaps the divine families were still unaware of Jarishan's fate, but the six horned sea serpent race and the Dong Fang family were definitely aware of the deaths of their peak heavenly geniuses. Once Long Chen and the others left the Starfield Divine World, they would definitely be facing another fierce battle. In this world, the weak were prey to the strong. As reason could not be counted on, it didn't matter who was right. The only thing that mattered was whose fist was bigger. Heavens, we've entered the empty void up here. The stars are so pretty. Tang Wan'er suddenly exclaimed. At some point, they had reached the top of the tree's crown. Here, they could see countless stars. It was as if the stars were right beside them. Close enough to touch. Ling Shi, what is that river? Long Chen pointed to a black river. This river seemed to sever the entire Starfield Divine World. From the top of the Mother Tree's crown, they could sense just how vast and frightening it was. It was a river of darkness that caused even the surroundings to darken. It was as if the river was sucking in all light. Just looking at it made them feel like their souls were going to be sucked in. That black river was drawn over here by the invading experts during the battle from back then. It was called the River of Darkness by us. Due to its invasion, 
we were only able to restore the Starfield Divine World to its current state, and it can no longer reach its peak. This river contained dark energy that destroyed the source of the Starfield Divine World. The unending dark energy it releases is what supports those dark life forms. Side Ling Shi, Dark Energy, Long Chen and the others were startled. They instantly thought of Yi Ming. Would Yi Ming draw out that Black River's energy to fight them? As if seeing through his thoughts, Ling Shi said, You don't need to worry. At first, there were people controlling the river. Later on, they all died. So the river was abandoned and created its own laws. It has become the river path for the ghost ships as they pass through the past and future. Its dark energy has manifested another kind of law, and others are no longer able to absorb its energy. The human enemy of yours who possesses dark energy is unable to control it. His dark energy has not reached the highest level of purity to even attempt doing so. Hearing that, Long Chen felt better. Yi Ming was a scheming fellow, so they had to be careful of him. Evil Moon. Can you absorb the river's energy? Asked Long Chen. No. That black river's energy has mutated and is bound by a different set of laws. I can't use it. There's no need to take the risk. My current power is more than enough for you to use. You're the one who is too weak right now. Yun Shang seal means I can only release my full power through you. If you weren't so weak, do you think I'd be bullied to this state? Evil Moon sighed. Like a tiger that had been bullied by a dog noveloon.com fine. I'm sorry for your loss Long Chen also sighed. Somewhat apologetically. The dragon race was the proudest of all races. To follow a master like him. Evil Moon truly had suffered. The feeling of having power but not being able to release it was aggravating. Evil Moon was limited by him. Its master. Long Chen suddenly clapped his forehead. What a fool. Why didn't I ask Sovereign Yun Shang to undo your seal? You're not a fool. You're stupid. The Yun Shang that sealed me was at his peak. The one you encountered was nothing more than his past self. He could not undo this seal. Snorted Evil Moon. Well, we should have still tried it. What if it worked? What if my ass? I already asked him. And he told me this. Said Evil Moon irritably. Comma just as Long Chen and Evil Moon were talking. Ling Shi brought everyone to the peak of the mother tree. Here, they were surrounded by stars. It was as if they were within a world of fantasy. How beautiful the light of the stars illuminated Men Chi and the others. Tang Wan Er looked around at the starry sky in wonder. You're all even more beautiful, said Long Chen. You know how to talk. Tang Wan Er laughed, blushing slightly. This is the edge of this world and the limit of the mother tree, said Ling Shi. Haven't we already reached outside the world? It entirely feels like we can fly to the closest star from here, said Tang Wan Er. That is nothing more than a misperception. Those stars are such a great distance away that it cannot be expressed with words. The stars you see might not even be in the same spastime as us. They might be millions of years away from us or might not even exist any longer. Every star is its own world just like the star field divine world with its own laws. We can see them, but we are separated by spastime. If you want to go over, you will have to find the spatial node between the two worlds to create a passageway. Just like with the Martial Heaven continent, as long as two worlds are close enough, with their world barriers touching, it is possible to pass through a spatial node. It is different from minor worlds. Major worlds all have tough barriers to break through. To destroy two major worlds is comparatively easier than connecting two major worlds. Usually, only gods are capable of doing such a thing. Ah, it seems we've gotten off topic. I brought you here because this is a good place for comprehending the laws. The edge of the star field divine world has the laws of two worlds clashing. Hence, heavenly Tao energy is rather plentiful here. You will be able to experience the most primordial world energy. So it doesn't matter what kind of energy you cultivate. You will be able to gain deep insights here. Chu Yao, you can give a display, said Ling Shi. Chu Yao was suddenly propped up by a branch that extended into space, and she turned a bit pale from how high up she was. Wood element experts were naturally a bit afraid of being thrown high into the air since their power stemmed from the earth. Suddenly, countless wooden stakes stretched out of Chu Yao's back. They were of various colors and had different runes on them. They were like thousands of hands stretching out into the void. This is, Chu Yao suddenly grew delighted. 
The wood energy contained within the barrier of the world has millions of varieties. Therefore, you can choose the energy most suited to you to comprehend and absorb. Your wood energy also contains metal energy, so you can also absorb metal energy at the same time. The proportion will be up to you. Wood is easy to slash, flexible, but lacks sharpness. Metal is easy to shatter, lacks flexibility, but has plenty of sharpness. You can make up for the disadvantages of one with the advantages of the other. We are only at the edge right now. So if you want stronger power, you can reach out into the depths. There's no way to fly. But you also don't need to worry about falling because the mother tree will keep watch over you, said Ling Shi. Hearing this, everyone was delighted. Lu Ruian then went over to Chu Yao's side, stretching out black wooden stakes that looked like vipers emitting a shocking black chi, the chi of underworld corpses. You come from the corpse devil demon forest. Ling Shi stared in shock at Lu Ruian. Chapter 2537 Cultivation Land The Corpse Devil Demon Forest? What's that? Asked Lu Ruian. She had never heard this name before. You don't know where you come from? Asked Ling Shi curiously. Lu Ruian shook her head. I was just a seed back then. By the time I started to have memories. I had been tossed into the spirit world. I grew up there, so I don't know anything else. Lu Ruian's gaze grew icy. This had always been a sore point for her. She had been abandoned in a foreign world, so she had no emotions for it. In her life, the only one she viewed as family was Chu Yao. She rarely spoke and was rather secluded. Did you grow up in an old battlefield with the bones of countless life forms buried in the ground? Asked Ling Shi. Lu Ruian started and then nodded. The spirit world had its ancient battlefield with countless corpses just as Ling Shi said. Then you are a life form from the corpse devil demon forest. You need to absorb the chi of corpses to grow up faster. Have you been stuck at a bottleneck recently? You've been unable to undergo your next metamorphosis. Correct asked Ling Shi. Yes. Could it be? Lu Ruian thought of something. Long Chen. This person is very dangerous. If she cultivates here, she will absorb the chi of corpse devils that has accumulated for countless years. She will then undergo a transformation and become impossible to control. Ling Shi sent a message to Long Chen. Her tone was rather grave. Long Chen was also started. It seemed that Lu Ruian's origins were very terrifying. Even Ling Shi was warning him. There is no need to control her. I trust her, responded Long Chen. Ling Shi seemed to want to say more but she decided to swallow those words. Senior Ling Shi, can you tell me where the corpse devil demon forest is? If there's a chance, I'd like to go take a look, said Lu Ruian. Chu Yao held Lu Ruian's hand and nodded. She could sense her emotions. Lu Ruian never spoke to others, but she had opened her heart to Chu Yao, so no secrets could be kept from her. Before encountering Chu Yao, Lu Ruian had been filled with hatred for the world. She didn't know who her parents were or why they would cast her aside. In her memories, she vaguely knew that she had a father and mother. It seemed that when she was weak, they had bullied her. Upon growing stronger, she wanted revenge. In the spirit world, she had always been alone, and she didn't even know how long that period had been. Later, she had been imprisoned by Long Chen, and Long Chen had given her to Chu Yao. It was Chu Yao who had changed her because she could sense the goodness in Chu Yao's soul. From that moment, she had decided to follow Chu Yao for a lifetime. It could be said that only Chu Yao knew Lu Ruian's secrets, and she had kept those secrets from everyone else, including Long Chen. Lu Ruian was afraid of being alone, but she was also stubborn and proud. She never allowed herself to show it. Perhaps it was due to this that she rarely interacted with others. Chu Yao knew that Lu Ruian had a desire to find her parents, but as for whether it was longing for family or for vengeance, Chu Yao didn't know. Lu Ruian instantly grew excited upon learning that she came from the corpse devil demon forest. Long Chen held her hand to help her stay calm. The corpse devil demon forest is not in any one world. They go wherever they want to in order to cultivate. They break the walls between worlds and go wherever they please. They are vicious existences that are bloodthirsty and violent. They are the essence of corpses, devils, and demons. To tell the truth, as a fellow wood element life form, I don't like them. In my principles, 
they misinterpret the true essence of life, so I don't like them. I'm sorry, I don't say this to anger you. I just feel like you want to know my true thoughts, said Ling Shi apologetically. For someone as polite as Ling Shi to say that she didn't like them, perhaps that could be understood as being enemies. That was also why Ling Shi would send Long Chen a message as a warning. Many thanks. Senior Lu Ruyan then bowed deeply toward Ling Shi. Ling Shi's distaste for the corpse devil demon forest didn't affect her, as she had no sense of belonging toward them anyway. She just wanted to know where she came from. After that, Chu Yao and Lu Ruyan continued stretching into the void. The closer they got to the wall of the world, the stronger the energies of the heavenly deos grew. Finally, the wooden stakes around Chu Ya wrapped into a cocoon around her. It seemed to be absorbing some kind of energy. Lu Ruyan also wrapped herself into a cocoon, but hers was black. The runes on top of it were like vicious centipedes, and the aura it exuded was hair-raising. This is, Meng Chi and the others were startled to see this. Lu Ruyan's aura instantly became far more sinister than before. The star field divine world is filled with death chi from that battle and this death chi does not dissipate due to the existence of the river of darkness. She can absorb that chi to strengthen herself rapidly, explained Ling Shi. Ling Shi, don't worry. No one is completely good or completely bad. Even the most wicked person has a good side. As long as their good side is turned toward us, they are friends. In any case, I myself am not some good person. If someone treats me badly, I treat them the same way. Right or wrong can only take a step back when it comes to keeping our lives. I want to keep living. Long Chen shrugged nonchalantly. Ling Shi nodded. I trust the vision of the nine star air. Perhaps only a nine star air can suppress such evil. Just then, the cocoon around Lu Ruyan grew bigger, stretching out even further. Eight legs grew from it, piercing into the void like a giant spider. The void rumbled and Black Chi swirled over even affecting the mother tree's leaves. Black spots appeared on them, and they began to wither and fall. Long Chen's jaw dropped. Ling Shi said, she has absorbed enough core energy for her breakthrough and was only lacking this Qi. Now, she has a chance to undergo her transformation and soar instantly. After this transformation, she will start awakening the inheritance of the undying willow. At that time, at the very least, she will not be weaker than anyone in the battle just now. Not weaker than anyone in the battle? In other words, she would be just as strong as Long Chen? That's a good thing. The stronger she gets, the happier we'll be. He, cooling off under the protection of a giant tree is a good thing. It seems like I'll have to be nicer to Lu Ruyan in the future, said Long Chen with a mischievous laugh. Ruyan hates you. You'd best be careful not to get put in your place snickered Tang Wan'er. They all knew that Lu Ruyan still disliked Long Chen for being able to suppress her back then. She even liked interjecting a few words that could cause him some trouble. In that aspect, she was a petty person. After laughing, Tang Wan'er also started cultivating. To avoid affecting Lu Ruyan, she went to a rather distant place. Wind blades whirled around her as she began to interact with the barrier of the world. As Ling Shi said, this wall contained all kinds of energy, so Tang Wan'er quickly found the wind element laws that she needed. She began to comprehend, corroborate, and absorb them. Tang Wan'er's manifestation appeared behind her. She was rather smart, as she could use her manifestation to quickly sense the wind laws. Yi's Hikyu also went over. As soon as she went up, ice covered her entire body, and even the void around her was frozen. It became impossible to see anything but ice around her. Yi's Hikyu's ice energy was truly frightening. Even the mother tree had to distance itself from her, making Ling Shi stare in shock. As Men Chi went up, her spiritual strength's ripples spread, covering the top of the crown in a dreamlike color. Everything became indistinguishable between reality and illusion. The spiritual strength here, Men Chi originally hadn't had much hope since she was a soul cultivator but she found her manifestation activated on its own to envelop the entire tree crown. I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it myself. She has formed a resonance with the star field divine world soul. You really are blessed to be able to form a resonance with the world soul. Your future accomplishments are limitless, said Ling Shi. 
She was extremely shocked at just how terrifying every single person here was. Mingyu, you should ha? Huh? Where did she go? Long Chen suddenly realized that Dong Mingyu, who had just been beside him the last time he had checked, was gone. She was the first to merge into the world's barrier. Even before I gave the introduction, she had started. Now, I don't even know where she went. Her aura concealing techniques are truly marvelous, said Ling Shi. Dong Mingyu had been the first to sense how special this place was. Perhaps being an assassin made her extremely sensitive to her surroundings. Ling Shi, can everyone else also come up here? Asked Long Chen excitedly. Such a good place had to be shared. Of course, it's no problem. Haha, <laughs> that fellow Zifeng Sword Dao is definitely going to progress. The first one that Long Chen thought of was Yu Zifeng with his limitless potential. For him, coming up here is meaningless, said Ling Shi. What? Chapter 2538 A Feast Why is that? Asked Long Chen. The Sword Dao is not encompassed within the Heavenly Deos. Or rather, the Sword Dao exists outside the Heavenly Deos. It can be said to be above the Heavenly Deos. Hence, even if he came, he wouldn't be able to benefit from the laws here. Explained Ling Shi. Can you explain that a bit clearer? Probed Long Chen. He felt like he had heard others say that the Sword Dao was above the Heavenly Deos. But he didn't know what exactly that meant. I'm not very clear on it either. All I know is that the Sword Dao is not within the Heavenly Deos. I have some vague inherited memories that seem to say that the reason is related to the Sword God. But I don't remember anything about the Sword Dao. It seems that it's taboo, said Ling Shi hesitatingly. It seemed she couldn't be sure and didn't dare to randomly say something for fear of misguiding Long Chen. Then can I cultivate here? Asked Long Chen. Ling Shi smiled slightly. She just looked at Long Chen and didn't reply. Being looked at like that, Long Chen was embarrassed, as expected of the mother god of the Luo spirit race. Even though she wasn't used to communicating with humans, it didn't mean she was so easy to fool. She wouldn't reveal anything about the nine-star hegemon body art. Long Chen awkwardly laughed. Ah, I feel like I should be able to cultivate here. Yes, definitely Ling Shi smiled. I also feel like you can. All right. It seemed that they had come to a tacit understanding. Long Chen gave up tricking any information out of Ling Shi. After all, she was an existence that had lived for countless years, and his little ploys couldn't beat her. In the distance, the sound of a zither began to ring out. The white-robed Zi Yan was sitting in the sky, and the seven-string C suppressing zither was quivering in front of her, spreading ripples to their surroundings. Zi Yan's zither music was the music of the heavens and she could use it to assimilate with the heavenly deos. As she played, the world was immersed in her music. Long Chen sighed in amazement. Zi Yan was truly like a fairy from the heavens. Her music was sacred and transcendent, and just listening to it could cleanse the soul. That beautiful feeling could not be expressed with words. Long Chen took a deep breath and drew himself from the music. If everyone else was cultivating, he couldn't laze about. Long Chen walked out to the very edge of space which was the wall of the world. At first, the resistance wasn't too bad, but the closer he got, the greater the pressure. Rumbling rang out in his ears as he advanced. It was as if he was in a tsunami noveloon.com flames and lightning burst out. Without Long Chen summoning them, a lightning dragon and a flame dragon flew out. At the same time, the void shuddered. Flame runes and lightning runes gathered around them. Those runes varied in color and shape. Every one of them represented a kind of law. Big Brother Long Chen, this place can let me recover my energy much faster. Huo Linger transmitted a message to Long Chen excitedly. Having used the Nine Star World Extermination Flame Lotus, she had used up all her energy. Hence, she was happy to be in a place full of flame energy that could help replenish her energy stores. Lai Long was the same. Thunder boomed and the Thunder Force here seemed to be willingly absorbed. Huo Linger, bring in the moon and star refining furnace with you as you recover. You can help me refine some more pills, said Long Chen. He then sent the moon and star refining furnace flying over to the flame dragon. Without Huo Linger, the moon and star refining furnace couldn't refine pills effectively on its own. It would just be a waste of time if it tried to refine pills with its core flame. Now, Long Chen was preparing to attack the next realm. 
he had managed to activate the six-star battle armor. However, in order to fully control its power, he would need to attain a higher realm. Bring me in too. The demon moon furnace flew out as well. All this time, Huo Linger had been refining nethergate pills with the moon and star refining furnace, which made the demon moon furnace go crazy. Now that Long Chen wanted pills to advance realms, it could also refine them. The flame and lightning dragons coiled in the air, and their light grew brighter and brighter. Both of them absorbed all the various kinds of flame and lightning energy present. These energies came from the star field divine world. However, after observing for a while, Long Chen couldn't help frowning. Ling Shi, why is the Thunder Force here so much weaker than on the Martial Heaven Continent? The Martial Heaven Continent is the core of the Star Field. As for the Star Field Divine World, it is nothing more than a corner of the Star Field that is no longer complete. The law representing the Heavenly Deus Heavenly Punishment has dispersed here. Hence, the remaining lightning energy can only strengthen your lightning dragon, but it will not allow it to break through its current bottleneck. Explained Ling Shi. Long Chen nodded. Long Chen had heard that the Martial Heaven Continent was the core of a star field before. Me and Kangayu had mentioned it, along with saying that the Martial Heaven Continent had a giant secret. Long Chen felt like he could comprehend Ling Shi's explanation, yet wasn't sure that he fully understood it. However, he didn't bother asking more questions, as he didn't want it to become awkward if Ling Shi refused to answer again. Long Chen then looked at the lightning dragon and the flame dragon. It seems that there's nothing here for me. Long Chen's gaze suddenly brightened. Ling Shi, can you give me a tree branch? Of course. Even if you want the toughest wood heart, it would be fine to give you a bit, said Ling Shi. No, just a branch is enough, said Long Chen, realizing that Ling Shi had misunderstood and thought that he wanted a weapon. Ling Shi stared at him questioningly. After that, she pulled at her hair, plucking out a single strand and placing it in Long Chen's hand. It then transformed into a three-foot branch the thickness of a thumb. The wooden stick was dark green and heavier than an ordinary divine weapon. It pulsed with life energy. Long Chen thanked her and carefully planted it inside the primal chaos space. However, its life energy rapidly faded and it withered, transforming into a pile of dust that dispersed into the soil. What Long Chen stared blankly. Just what had happened? He didn't bury it in the black soil. So how could it wither so quickly? What is it? Asked Ling Shi. Long Chen explained that he had a mysterious soil space that could grow all kinds of precious medicines but not this branch. Ling Shi said, Every part of the mother tree is blessed by the Luo spirit race. And the mother tree is so powerful due to the Luo spirit race's faith energy. Hence. That branch was only useful within the realm of the star field divine world where the mother tree's energy can reach. Without faith energy sustaining it, its divine essence will quickly fade. The mother tree and I are manifestations of the Luo spirit race's faith. Without the Luo spirit race, we would not exist. Without us, the Luo spirit race would not exist. We are codependent existences. Hearing this, Long Chen sighed. His dreams of obtaining a forest of mother trees were destroyed. It seemed that he could only raise his demon trees. All right, I give up. Are there any places in this world with particular evil creatures? I need a large number of corpses. It's very important. The heavenly Killin demon trees had withered, and Long Chen wanted to revive them as soon as possible. Without them, he wouldn't even have the power to use the six-star battle armor. Without an unending stream of life energy. He couldn't fight with it. There are plenty. The Poison Dragon Abyss, Heavenly Scorpion Canyon, the edge of the River of Darkness, or even a channel to another world. There are plenty of terrible beasts there. They are all enemies of the Luo Spirit Race, and we used to fight with them when the Starfield Divine World was still complete. During that age, if it wasn't for the King of the Spirit Dragon Race helping us, we probably wouldn't have been able to hold out. If you want corpses, I can gather my people for battle, said Ling Shi. Long Chen shook his head. The Luo spirit race has just endured a major battle. They should rest. Whether it is the Luo spirit race or my people, they all need some time to recuperate. Then what? The mother tree and I can only support the Luo spirit race in battle. We cannot fight ourselves, said Ling Shi. Sometimes problems don't always have to be solved entirely by martial power. 
There are some tricks that can save a huge amount of manpower. Ah, speaking of which, can your gaze help me find Yi Ming? I want to return his favor. I can't do it right now. The mother tree's current power is only enough to see the outline of the various lands. I cannot lock on to specific people yet, said Ling Shi. Oh, then forget about it. That lucky bastard. I have no time to handle him. Can you give me a detailed explanation about the three areas you mentioned, including the weaknesses, strengths, and habits of the life forms inhabiting those places? I'll come up with a battle plan, said Long Chen, a bit regretful. Having been led by the nose by Yi Ming for so long, he felt bad not paying him back. However, there was no way around it. Yi Ming was now all on his own, in a place as large as the Starfield Divine World. It was like searching for a needle in an ocean. After receiving a detailed explanation of the three areas, Long Chen descended down the mother tree. He then ordered the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance, the Xuan Beasts, and the Dragon Blood Legion to gather. With Ling Shi's help, their injuries had healed and they were invigorated. Long Chen then sent them up the mother tree to cultivate. He only kept behind Guo Ran, Yu Zifeng, and Wild. Let's go. I'll bring you to a feast. Long Chen's group of four quietly left the mother tree. Chapter 2539 Battle Plan Big Brother Long. Shh. Navaloon Calm Wild had just opened his mouth when Long Chen gestured to be quiet at this time. Long Chen, Yu Zifeng, Guo Ran, and Wild were hiding behind a mountain. Looking at a valley filled with ferocious beasts these beasts included dragons, phoenixes, tigers, wolves, and more. Every one of them gave off a sense of immense pressure Wild involuntarily swallowed one mouthful of saliva after another while he stared at them. After waking up, Wild was stuck in a weakened state, which was the only way for him to endure the pain of hunger. But that weakness was uncomfortable right now. He needed powerful meat, and those beasts were perfect for that. Hence, he began to drool moreover. Long Chen had brought them to take a look at the Poison Dragon Abyss and the Heavenly Scorpion Canyon, but they had left just after arriving. Now that they were here, Wild's stomach was rumbling like thunder. He almost couldn't hold back Wild didn't know how to speak spiritually, and with his loud voice, even whispering was like shouting, Wild, endure it, we'll get you some food soon, comforted Long Chen. He then turned to Guo Ran, how is it, can you handle it, I can but I'm worried about drawing over something we can't deal with. Boss, I'm sure you can handle a single 13th rank beast, but if there are two or three, we won't be able to endure. Wild is currently too weak to fight, said Guo Ran Long Chen had brought them to scout the area before coming up with a battle plan. He had decided against the Poison Dragon Abyss and the Heavenly Scorpion Canyon because they were too spacious, and the terrain was not favorable to them. If they were surrounded by 13th rank beasts, they wouldn't be able to run. No need to worry. Ling Shi told me that these beasts came from a different world. The laws of this place are foreign to them, and they haven't fully adapted yet. Even after so many years, they remain in this valley with a spatial channel at the back that feeds them energy. Do you see that faint blue barrier? Once they leave that region, they will be suppressed by the laws of this world. Even if multiple 13th rank beasts come, we'll still be able to easily run. All I want to know is if you have some way to kill them in batches. I want a large number of corpses. The more the better. I'm in a rush too. So killing them one by one is too slow. Do you understand? Since the mother tree had recovered some of its power, Long Chen's group had been given a leaf that allowed them to move anywhere within the range of the mother tree's territory. They hadn't wasted any time traveling. So Long Chen hadn't had the time to explain everything. Then it's no problem. I still have quite a few bombs. With the exploding bombs providing support. Fool. I brought you to the Poison Dragon Abyss and the Heavenly Scorpion Canyon to think of possibilities. For example. Using the Poison Dragon's poison against these beasts to kill them all. Ling Shi told me that the beasts have been accumulating here for tens of thousands of years so they might outnumber the black armor cores buried beneath the mother tree back then. Even if they didn't resist and stuck out their necks for us to sever, how long would it take? Long Chen shook his head. Oh, I've been working on new armor and weapons, so I wasn't thinking properly. Cough. Well, 
The beasts here seem to be mostly furred beasts, so they shouldn't be particularly powerful when it comes to defense. As long as we get enough poison, my bombs can spread the poison and give them fatal wounds. With Jarishan, I can gather the fragments of the bombs back. The main thing is that the poison dragons and poison scorpions aren't so easy to handle. Said Guo Ran the poison dragons were definitely frightening. If someone was stabbed by them, that could be fatal. They could also spit out toxic gas. Although their physical bodies weren't powerful, their toxicity was something they had to be cautious of as for the scorpions in the heavenly scorpion canyon. Their defensive power was extremely high. Armored beasts were always a headache as their bodies were difficult to pierce through. They had almost no weaknesses. So killing them could only be done with brute power. Okay. Since you don't have a better method. We'll go with my plan. We'll give up on the heavenly scorpion canyon. There aren't that many of them. And they lack flesh. I'll take charge of the poison dragon abyss. Although they also lack the meat we want. We can get poison from them. The three of you can start launching some probing blows here to test their bottom line and get some food for wild. For goodness sake. Every time he opens his mouth. The smell of the corpse devouring armored spiders bursts out. Despite his appetite, I'm sure he'll get tired of eating the same thing over and over eventually. You launch some probing blows here. Once I bring the first batch of dragon corpses back, you can launch the real attack. Said Long Chen Wild immediately grew excited. Long Chen truly understood him. Although he wasn't picky, he had truly gotten tired of eating the corpse devouring armored spiders. Boss. I should go with you. There are countless poison dragons in the poison dragon abyss. It's too dangerous. Said Yu Zifeng if there were poison dragons that had reached the 13th rank there then. It could easily be fatal. If both of them went together. They could look out for each other. No need. I have evil moon. So those poison dragons can't touch me. Let's split up. After that. Long Chen activated the leaf. A leaf shaped rune appeared on his chest. And he vanished. Let's start. Guo Ran didn't hesitate. He summoned his battle armor and charged toward the valley as soon as he appeared. The beasts inside the valley roared and attacked him. Damn, there's this many. When he entered the valley, Guo Ran was shocked to find that there was a special spatial law inside the barrier. These beasts were actually many times larger than they had appeared on the outside only once he was inside the valley did he see a giant channel in the distance. The channel was pitch black. But when Guo Ran entered the valley, he saw countless lanterns light up inside of it in truth. Those weren't lanterns but eyes, and they looked like stars in the cosmos. Guo Ran felt a chill, and he almost ran away Yu Zifeng was already attacking. An eagle was cut down as it flew toward them. Its head leaving its body wild grabbed it before it even landed on the ground. Sucking it into his bowl and devouring it. I'm finally getting some good meat. Wild sighed in gratitude. He had almost forgotten the taste of proper meat. The corpse devouring armored spiders had cast quite a shadow on him. The first ones to arrive were the flying beasts. They let out heaven-shaking roars as they attacked the three of them. Yu Zifeng's sword danced in the air as he cut through them like tofu. His sword chi was even capable of cutting Jarishan's immortal metal body. So flesh and blood was easily sliced seeing that Yu Zifeng was so powerful. Guo Ran relaxed slightly. His own weapons dual sabers, had been destroyed by Jarishan, so he was using two backup sabers for now even peak 12th rank beasts were nothing before Yu Zifeng's sword chi, every slash of his sword killed a mass of them this was the terrifying power of a sword cultivator, their sword chi was a special kind of energy, and its sharpness was not limited by laws, that was why they were said to be number one in terms of offense. A cultivator's magical arts or battle skills could not manage to concentrate all their power onto the thin edge of a blade like sword chi could while the larger hammer was definitely stronger. When it came to the ability to kill in one blow, a small knife surpassed it Yu Zifeng cut down countless beasts with his sword chi, which contained the will of the sword Dao. Those struck had their souls extinguished Yu Zifeng was the main force, while Guo Ran provided support. Although Yu Zifeng's killing power was terrifying, his defensive power was particularly lacking he killed those beasts easily, but if they got close to him, they had the potential to kill him in one blow suddenly. A roar rang out that made those beasts suddenly retreat. The void exploded, revealing a giant claw that smashed toward them. 
A thirteenth rank beast! exclaimed Guo Ran. He slashed with both his sabers boom Guo Ran's backup saber shattered, and he was smashed into the ground. Just at that moment, the owner of the claw, a wild lion, appeared in front of Yu Zifeng. This lion's fur was the color of blood, and it had two heads. Even its eyes were scarlet. Guo Ran had managed to draw over and block its attack, while Yu Zifeng's sword fell once more. Blood splashed. What? Yu Zifeng was shocked to find that he could only cut open its skull with his attack. He wasn't able to go any deeper the two-headed tiger then roared in pain, and a powerful sound wave resounded through the sky. It pounced on Yu Zifeng. Yu Zifeng was about to dodge when a furious roar rang out. All of a sudden, a giant door bolt smashed into the lion's head. The door bolt landed on the already injured head, causing it to explode. When one head was destroyed, its body began to spasm wild attacked with the door bolt again, striking the other head. That head caved in, and then Yu Zifeng followed up with an attack, cutting it in two. The three of them managed to kill a 13th rank beast by working together Wild excitedly ran over and started eating the lion. Every bite filled him with energy. Wild, eat later, run now. Guo Ran crawled out. His armor was covered in cracks. When he saw the spatial channel in the distance, his soul almost fled from his body. Chapter 2540 Dragon Slayer Long Chen's vision changed as he arrived at the edge of a bottomless abyss that looked like a gaping maw in the ground. Dragon roars occasionally rang out from within this was the Poison Dragon Abyss, the main lair of the Poison Dragons. According to Ling Shi, this place was also a 10,000 dragon nest. The king of the Poison Dragons had been the heaven-devouring fiend King's steed. However, that poison dragon had been killed by the king of the spirit dragons. Despite that, the poison dragon king had managed to strike the spirit dragon king with its poison, which resulted in the spirit dragon king's death in the end if it hadn't been for that poison. The heaven-devouring fiend king wouldn't have been able to fight to the death with the spirit dragon king. In order to preserve its power, the fiend king had hidden the poison dragon's 10,000 dragon nest within an abyss. Due to its existence, there was an evil chi present that was poisoned to the Luo spirit race after spending so many years developing. There were now countless poison dragons inside. Demonic bugs had also grown from the evil chi and were the main sustenance for the poison dragons. The poison dragons inside seemed bound by some law and were unable to come out of the abyss. They could only be active within. Even after so many years, they hadn't charged out into the Starfield Divine World. The Luo spirit race was unable to provoke them, so they had coexisted for all these years. Based on Ling Shi's estimate, those poison dragons had a spiritual seal placed on them as for the one to lay down that seal. It was most likely the heaven devouring fiend king. It was one of his backup plans for when he revived, as they would be his new army. However, those plans were destroyed when Yi Ming set his gaze on the fiend king. The latter had been possessed by him, becoming his tool. In the end, Yi Ming had detonated his corpse. So the poison dragon abyss was truly a masterless existence now. Evil Moon, do you have a way to control them? He, if I could bring an army of poison dragons to the martial heaven continent Long Chen looked into the abyss and saw poison dragons hibernating like bats. What's the point of bringing back a pile of trash? Without the dragon king. This 10,000 dragon nest can't even produce poison dragons of the 13th rank. They're nothing more than reptiles to those experts above Nether Passage. They can destroy these dragons with a wave of their hands. You're hoping they'll be of help against experts of that level. Evil Moon snorted disdainfully. There are no 13th rank poison dragons here? Why? Asked Long Chen. The poison dragon race's 10,000 dragon nest is different from the spirit dragon races. The king of the poison dragons will only permit those absolutely obedient to him to progress. Otherwise, they'll threaten his existence. It's a bit similar to the dark evil dragon race. My subordinates had to swear on their soul and blood to be loyal to me in order for me to allow them to advance to the 13th rank. If someone went against that, they would be suppressed by the laws of the 10,000 dragon nest, and I would immediately go eat them, said Evil Moon lightly. What a con snorted Long Chen. You're a human. You don't understand. Without those bindings or suppression, dragons will definitely fight back. They'll eventually try to kill me and replace me. 
Are you not afraid of your subordinates betraying you one day and taking your place? Retorted Evil Moon. If they want to take my place, why would they kill me? If they want to be the boss, I'd happily give them the spot. It would save me from being so tired all the time. I'd like to find a big tree to rely on, said Long Chen. Furthermore, they're not my subordinates but my brothers. The reason we could band together is because we are unwilling to be controlled by fate. We have a similar goal, which is to live freely and with dignity. Within this chaotic world, who knows how much longer we'll live? Just like this, we had some brothers who are forever gone. We're still too weak to control our own fates. So why would they bother fighting for the position of boss? Long Chen sighed. This battle had shown him that he was still too weak. Perhaps, he couldn't yield any longer. Any further yielding would draw himself into the abyss of death. Let's not talk about those things. Do you have a way to help me subdue those poison dragons? Asked Long Chen. I do. Haha. <laughs> Great. No. What? Because I won't tell you. What the fuck? Raged Long Chen. They're a disgrace to the dragon race. An insult to our sacred and noble blood. They shouldn't exist in this world. If you want to kill them, I'll help you. But if you want to subdue them, then you understand. Said Evil Moon. Fine. Then let's kill them. I want their poison. Long Chen could only acquiesce. All right. Prepare yourself. Buzz suddenly. Space fluctuated and Chi Li appeared with millions of the Luo spirit race's warriors. Why are you all here? Asked Long Chen. Startled. We came to help. We can wipe out the poison dragons together. Said Chi Li excitedly. It's very dangerous. Once the poison dragons charge out, it'll cause huge casualties. Don't mess around and go back. Said Long Chen directly he had fought countless battles but he still hadn't managed to harden his heart to the point of calmly seeing the people beside him die in battle. The sight of the Luo spirit race's disciples self-detonating to buy him time was a nightmare to him. He didn't want to experience something like that ever again. Ki Li's eyes reddened. Rather than being scared away, she stubbornly said, Although we're not as strong as you, we're not afraid of death. We have a duty to eliminate enemies for our fallen clansmen. We're not going to retreat because of fear. That stubbornness made Long Chen feel an urge to both laugh and cry. He was unable to scare her off. He was going to try to persuade her one more time when Evil Moon suddenly said, Have them stay. They can be of help. Although we can't use them here, they'll definitely be useful on Guo Ran's side. Long Chen was startled and quickly understood Evil Moon's intentions. He nodded, and to Chi Li who was bitterly holding back tears, he said, Fine, you can stay, but you have to listen to my orders. Only then did Chi Li smile and wipe away her wet eyes. After that, Long Chen slowly walked into the abyss with Evil Moon, and countless poison dragons charged over. You just have to circulate your spiritual strength. Leave the rest to me, said Evil Moon suddenly. A black two headed dragon appeared behind Long Chen. Its four eyes had flickering runes inside of them, and its appearance caused the world to rumble. Damn, this is your true body? You have two heads, exclaimed Long Chen. When Evil Moon woke Long Chen up last time, he was in a strange state and couldn't remember this form. Shut up. Do you even know how mighty a two-headed evil dragon is? I'm a genius that might not appear again in millions of years. If you don't talk so much, you won't appear so stupid, roared Evil Moon. Long Chen was startled by Evil Moon's anger. It seemed that having two heads was one of Evil Moon's proudest points. This roar contained a mighty dragon pressure. Affected by it, the poison dragon suddenly stiffened and fell, unable to move. Dragon pressure suppression. Long Chen stared. Surprised the poison dragons fell to the ground, their bodies stiff. After that, they stared in terror at Long Chen. Or more accurately, they stared at Evil Moon behind him. Damn, you're amazing. Why didn't you use this during the last battle? Asked Long Chen. What do you know? Those poison dragons were corpses being controlled. Spiritual and bloodline pressure are useless against them. Snorted Evil Moon. Still angry at Long Chen's foolishness. Amazing. Truly amazing. Evil Moon. Why can't we discuss? Shut up. If you want to enslave them, I'll immediately retract the dragon pressure. Raged Evil Moon. Long Chen could only give up on that thought. He turned to Chi Li. Chi Li, you can go kill them now. Bring me their poison stingers. 
Poison claws, poison fangs, and poison sacks. Keely and the others stared blankly, having anticipated a fierce battle. However, they hadn't expected the poison dragons to instantly lose their ability to fight back upon seeing Evil Moon after that. The Luo spirit race's warriors quickly shot arrows that stabbed through the poison dragon's eyes, instantly killing them. These frightening poison dragons were killed easily. Keely also led a group to clean up the corpses that piled up. She then pulled out the things that Long Chen asked when no more poison dragons flew out. Long Chen went in deeper and had Evil Moon retract its dragon pressure to avoid scaring them after an hour. Seven waves of poison dragons had attacked. And at this point, Long Chen ran out of spiritual strength because Evil Moon was unleashing its dragon pressure through his spiritual strength. Hence, he didn't go any deeper and walked out, sending the piles of corpses into the primal chaos space when the poison dragon corpses landed in the black soil. The withered heavenly kill and demon trees finally began to show signs of life once more.